And greetings! I am Resplendent Seraph, and today I am going to be going back and playing more East, The Oath of Felgana, which is a remake of East Book 3, uh, this wonderful little gem from the Turbo Graphics. Uh, and unlike Wanderers, which was a side scrolling game, this is a more top down, three dimensional, uh, more open, <laughs> much more open layout to the dungeons and everything else. But the remake, which in Falcom's own words, is a more canon version of East 3. There are extra plot scenes and extra details added to it to make the story a little more cohesive. His story is the same from East 3, but it's it's definitely much more elaborated on as far as some of the details uh, are concerned with this version. Last stream, we managed to get out of the Ilburn's ruins, which was some sort of pagan uh, site and after Chester had kicked us into a bottomless pit. <laughs> Luckily, we don't take fall damage in this game. Otherwise, that alone would have been, should have been a death sentence. But, uh, but in any event, we survived the fall. We get out of there. And King Maguire, or Count Maguire, right. He's a count in this game. Count Maguire shows up and <laughs> raises Chester. And in any event... We're about to fight Chester, but then Elena and Dogie show up. Chester acts like a total shithead, for lack of a better word. And we get everybody back to town. Now, of course, by this point, I've got now a couple of statues. And um, I'm just going to do a quick TLDR here. Um, the mayor, Mayor Grady, tells us about... I think it was more elaborate than that. But basically, there's this conversation about the abandoned part of the mine. So we go back into the t Great Quarry. We go into the abandoned section. We fight yet another boss. We get yet another statue, and at this point, once we go back to town in Redmond, uh, Red, yeah, Redmond, and um, Redmond, I think it was Redmond actually. I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking the town in uh, in Washington State. Uh, so we go back to Redmond and having another conversation. The idea is to go up to see Dogie's old master because it's also Chester's old master, and see if maybe we could get to the bottom of what might be going on in Chester's head. And so we. Proceed up into the Elder Mountains, where Dularn summons the Three Furies. We fight the Three Furies off, and that's basically where we ended stream last time. We're still trying to pick up a couple of side quests. Uh, we're trying to pick up leaves, which act as a cure for the Pickards, which I also looked through my achievements list, and apparently I've never cured the Pickards, which I could swear I've done. So that's very interesting. So Seraph is going to try to do that side quest today. It also occurred to me when I looked through, I saw two other side quests that I got achievements for and went, I totally didn't do those. So we're also going to try and do those today as well. And so without any further ado, let's uh, let's get this started from this beautiful Florida day. It's actually nice and uh, it's kind of nice and cloudy, so it isn't super hot. It's just kind of nice. I ended up spending a lot of it on my patio because my wonderful co-host Cleopatra decided today she needed lots of pets and she needed lots of play and she wanted to be on the patio for all of it. So yeah, I spent I spent most of my day on the patio dealing with the cat, but hopefully she's exhausted herself from being an asshole and now she should just take a nice little nap while we get to play East both of Felgana. Let's hope the volume is good. I did have to adjust it for Earthbound when I played that on my birthday the other day. But we saw, we look good here. Actually, I might even be a little on the low side, but we'll see. I could always turn it up a little louder. So we're at the mountains of the midpoint. Nah, actually, it looks fine. Yeah, those, that, those levels look good. Because we don't want it to be too much louder than the uh, rest of the gameplay. Anyway, so let's... Let's go and use the wing. Uh, oh, it is Redmond. Yeah, we'll just go to the bridge, and we'll just we'll just explore a little bit. Oh, I'm about to level up too. Sweet. So that way goes to the mine. We don't want to go to the Tigre Quarry. What we want to do first is go to the Ilburn's ruins. There 
actually don't remember money wise what we need next so it might actually be worth going back to town just to see what the next upgrade is i think yeah the banded slayer um uh, probably 2400 is most likely over here right no he's not here right let's go back all right so at some point assuming we do this right we should have to escort somebody from there but of course seraph is also trying to remember exactly how it works like i i vaguely remember i think now i know where it is assuming we didn't miss it i don't know if it's missable or not that's also why I don't want to get too far in the Elder Mountains before... Before, um, kind of double-checking on this. Plus, this ends up being a good warm-up for me anyway. Nope. <laughs> that did zero damage, so that was kind of cool. But we still ended up taking a point of damage. Thank you. That is the way to the Elder Mountains. Do, 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 do. Actually, I think I went the wrong way. Did I go the wrong way? No. I think we just keep going up. Going up here. Yeah, I think I fucked up with this one. I think I must have missed it. But we'll talk to this dude anyway. Sorry, I don't know what I'm going to do with that kid. Seems to count some... Oh, okay, never mind. We're good. As now wandering around God knows where. He's done this before, and I was told to keep an eye out for him, but of course I didn't, so I'm pretty well screwed. <laughs> oh, Andre, don't worry, man. All right, so we're looking for the Count's son. I actually didn't remember who it was. Uh, I remember doing the escort mission, but I didn't remember who. Wow, we're getting the Count's son. Okay, so now we go back to the Hilburn's ruins, and he'll be there. And then we just have to escort him up here. And I remember that being somewhat tricky because he has next to no hit points. And he's kind of a dumbass. Actually, anybody you escort in this game is kind of a dumbass with it. It's like, you'd think they would avoid monsters if they absolutely could, but they tend to not avoid them as well as they should. Ruins, we go again. We're leveling. We're getting all sorts of little added buffs here. So now, now this kid should be up here. Or Seraph remembering wrong. Thought this is where the kid was. Nope, wrong button. That's the button I'm looking for. Is he up here? I could swear he was out by that gate. Ow. Maybe he's up further than I thought. I could swear that kid is up here. I didn't think I had to run through all that much. I thought he was by the gate, though. Unless I'm totally misremembering this. He's not up there. Goodbye, owls. Yeah, the owls are much easier to kill when you have the wind magic. But I really didn't think I had to go very far in here. I, I, yeah, it's this is too far to have to do an escort mission. Well, we're already this far. Let's just go a little bit further and make sure. I love when they do zero damage. But yeah, he's not out here. Okay, yeah, this, this kid's not here. And these guys aren't giving me any XP worth the time it would take to kill them at this stage. Up we go. Right, dashing. 
You missed. Out we go. All right, so where is the kid? Not by the Elburn's ruins. Shit, where is he? Is he by Redmond? I really thought he was over here. Okay, well, you hit me, so now I have to hit <laughs> Do do. It's really not here, huh? Not in there. Hmm. Is he by the quarry? Maybe he's by the quarry. Ugh. I could have sworn he was by there, though. Unless I have to do something else. Shit, do I have to do something else? I have to do something else. Go this way, though. Maybe he is by the quarry. Maybe I just forgot where he was. Where is the Count's son? Hmm. Or maybe I just haven't gone long enough. Maybe at some point he will spawn by the Ilburn's ruins and I just haven't gone far enough yet. But I feel like if I... I feel like that should be now. Okay. Go to Redmond. And if he's not by Redmond, we'll go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Well, Gardner's not by his post. Looks like we got little monsters on our hands. Just all over Falgana. Yep. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, no, we already did that side quest. God, that side quest. That was such a... Hunger, hunger doesn't wait for peace. Peace waits for hunger to be sated. My belly's roaring like a wildfire. <laughs> but then again, I haven't been working much, so I haven't been eating as much either. I guess that makes sense. I don't please wipe out the monsters so I can eat yummy food again. Oh, man. That guy is cool. All right, so there's Gardner. Yeah, I don't really see anything up here, so, uh, all right. Well, let's go try the other thing. It's what I'm thinking of. As long as she's not here. Yeah, she's not here. Okay, well, let's try the other one. Maybe we have to do this one first. Maybe we have to do this escort mission first. All right. So instead, we're going to do a little bit of running around. We get things started here. <laughs> Curb stomp these assholes. Um, right. This way. That was money, right? If it was, it... It despawned. So let's try this instead. Actually, let's clear this out now. Granted, I think these guys will just come back in a second. But let's try getting rid of them first. Down here we go. This is where we started the game. Yep, alright, so there's one. I can't do that. And here's Elena. Sorry, I thought she was going to say a lot more than that. I'm sorry. I knew it was dangerous with all the monsters around, yet I still left the safety of the town unescorted. My brother would always bring me here when I was little. You can look out at the entire Siena Bay from here. If you look over there, you'll see Genos Island. Supposedly, an ancient tribe used to live there. I don't know what happened to them, but... I heard they all died out. 
Chester used to come here and just sit quietly looking out at the water. And I'd often join him. It was so peaceful. Yet, there was always such sadness in his eyes. Even back then, I could tell he had something on his mind, but I could never bring myself to ask him what it was. So we'd just sit together and watch the water until it got dark. Obviously, the game was not meant for 21-9 resolution in the upper right corner. <laughs> I don't really remember anything from when I was just a little girl. My first real memories are from when Papa first took us in. I don't know where I lived or what kind of people I was with before that. I don't even have any clue as to what would make me forget so much. Uh, being young. But I think my brother remembers at least some of it. That's the impression I always got, anyway, whenever we'd sit out here. Sorry, I must be boring you to tears. I should probably get back to town. Would you excuse me, Adol? Adol offered to escort Eleanor safely back to Redmond. Huh? Uh, oh, no. It's still light out, so I should be safe from the monsters. Uh, have you noticed how crazy the monsters have gotten lately? Uh, you won't take no for an answer, will you? If you insist, then I shall humbly accept your offer. And now we need to make sure that Elena doesn't die. Yay. Thank you, Adol. I'll feel much safer with you. Shall we then? My favorite escort missions. Yeah, uh, I don't think she recovers any health. So what she's got is what she's got. And of course, because we changed the Because the game loaded the screen, it didn't matter. We have to kill these guys again. That's good. I have to absolutely make sure she doesn't get hit. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have uh, even fought that close range. Why oh, you have the magic of fire, dude? That guy. As long as I stay on uh, on task here and just make sure nothing gets all that close to her, and we're fine. I'm surprised the charged up one didn't kill it. And now Gardner's back at his post. Elena, you little twerp, did you sneak out of town on me again? I'm sorry, I can't take my eyes off you for a second. Please, try not to make me worry so much. You know how old I am? My iron ain't what it used to be. I'm sorry, Mr. Gardner. Well, it's still light out. Natal's with you, so it could be worse. Thank goodness for small favors, I guess. Thank you so much, Adol. For everything. I'd love to stay and chat with you, but I promised Margo I'd help her at the inn. You've got things of your own to take care of anyway. The Elder Mountains, right? Yep. The monsters there are particularly vicious, so do be careful, okay? All right, so escort mission taken care of. We don't really get anything for it, but it's still nice extra background of her. Um, and you do get an achievement for it. That's the only reason I even remembered it is when I was looking at my achievement system. Like, hmm, is there anything I'm either missing or getting close to? I'm actually getting close to a couple. I'm uh, I'm halfway killing the little, the little beetle things out in the Ilburn's ruins. You get an achievement for killing 2,000 of them. I've now killed uh, 1,100 or something ridiculous. It's like, oh my god, are you kidding me? You have to kill so many of those things. Now, let's see if the Count's son shows up here. Does he? That may be what I needed to do. Here. Here. Damn, I, re I seem to remember him being, like, here at the gate. But maybe I need to do something else first. 
Or I missed it. Maybe I needed to do it earlier. Could be that I needed to do it earlier. Oh well. Or I just need to keep checking. At some point he'll show up there. Let's back up the mountain. Way at least mountain. Not mountains. I keep thinking of it as Mount Seco, and it's not Mount Seco <laughs> in this game. I mean, I guess it is, they just don't call it as such. But we may as well save it since we did do we did do a side quest. Oh, that sounds like a raid. Freak bot! Welcome back, buddy. We just did a uh, side quest. We're gonna work back up on the mountainside here. Oh, we just got some cool. Cool gear here. So let's uh, save. Let's uh, pause that for a second. Welcome everybody in. Greetings, everybody. How are you? Let's switch to that real quick. Greetings, Freakbot. How are you, my friend? How did the rest of the uh, How did the rest of the randomizer go? Although it hasn't been all that long, right? Um, I know I uh, I chimed in from playing with the cat on the patio when you got the magic mirror, so that was uh, obviously helpful. Oh, it only says, we killed uh, Dragon and got the Fire Rod. Nice. Very nice. Hey, Darkstar. How are you, man? I finally saw your message on Discord. I uh, I totally think that's a cool item. Um, Got to start with Skull Woods on Tuesday. That's a good That's a good spot to do. Um, I, I agree with that. Um, sounds solid. Good old uh, Darkstar. I haven't actually played through the Final Fantasy VII Remake yet, so I haven't actually been watching his channel. But uh, <laughs> yet, I gotta, I gotta start playing those so I'm caught up and I can actually watch you uh, stream something. And then uh, Rob the Wonderful, one of my many IRL friends. Oops, I'm about to misspell that. It's a good thing I checked that real quick. There we go. He's been playing uh, Namco vs. Capcom. That was awesome. Now he's playing some chill Stardew Valley. Good stuff. Um, excellent. You and do you do that? Get some good food. Uh, so we are playing. <laughs> there we go. Now, now that works. <laughs> it's only twelve percent of. Uh, I don't know. I got to come up with something more funny than that because that actually is funny. He's leaving leave it for fast food. Uh, I think it's more effective than that, but. Um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta come up with something. I just wanted to see if it would handle a random number net generator. Um, but there you go. Uh, I did actually activate the lurk command. So we'll start doing some funner, uh, fun stuff with that in a little bit. Let's get back to East here. And we are playing some Oath of Filgana. We just finished a, uh, a side quest involving Elena. And, um, so we got some extra insight of her, her character. Uh, she basically has very little memory of her past uh, before Papa took her in, but Chester liked to go out by the, to the docks a lot, and um, so she would accompany her brother out there. I thought I would time that right and get that guy, but no. Sarah fucked up. Oh, missed that one. Oh, we're getting some pretty serious coin here. So now we're going back up the mountain. Cause we really just did that. Got it. This guy showed up, fucked up our stun. But I'm also co cruising up this way because I want to make sure I didn't miss any. That? Okay, that's not a. You guys see that, right? It's like a little. Okay, but I, if I, it sh if that, if I were something I could grab, I should be able to grab it by now. <laughs> it is fun just to go through here and bash the shit out of these guys. That guy. Come on. Come on, B. Fine. Boy, these guys... Are... There we go. Oh, we already leveled up. That was pretty nice. So we got one one of those little herbs there for the Pickard side quest. 
These guys can actually hurt us, so they die first. Of course, it would help Seraph hit the button at the right time. Boom! And I do love all of... The whole OST is just really, really good, but this is one of the better tracks, I think. I do enjoy coming up here, exploring, finding all there is to find out here. At this point, these guys really aren't much of a threat to me. This is mostly a quick, let's go up the mountainside and see what I missed. Especially since now I realized I've never healed the Pickards. So that makes me wonder what I missed. That guy. You. You. Okay. Now we're getting the hang of this again. This bastard. Come on. You. Whoops. You. I think we got everything out that way. Yep, we did. At least anything that matters. Nothing up here. Right? Nope. Up there. All right. So how's everybody? Greetings on this lovely Sunday. Thank you for uh, spending your time with me and wrapping up the weekend. End it on with some RPG fun. All this ends up being more action adventure than real, you know, or true RPG, but. Of course, we do this with the obligatory ice level. Which for me is always sarcasm. I hate ice levels. And this one is not... Um, I love the music for this area. Not necessarily thrilled with... Uh, how challenging, shall we say, it could be. Let's go down. See if there's any... Okay. So there actually was something down here? I thought so. It was worth doing. So I didn't want to jump down there last stream. Because I didn't remember if it was a trap or not. I mean, it is a trap, but... It's a trap with lots of money. I like money. Okay. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, well. Sucks when the... Sucks when the money drop falls off the edge. Well, shit. Yeah, that fucker is going to be somebody we have to avoid. Oh, shit, and he showed up. Yeah, that thing is going to hurt us. Now, I don't actually remember which way we're supposed to go. I think we went left last time. <sighs> oh, there's a treasure chest. Lovely. All right, so we need to... Oh, right, I'm going to slide all over the place. Oh, oh God, why? Okay, well, I get some Ravalor. And I don't think there's anything down here outside of that. Yeah, there's nothing else here. I just need to get away from here now. Oh, no, no, I didn't want to hit that button. I never want to hit that button. Come on, get out. Oh. Oh, come on. I hate ice so much. But still, picked up some Ravalor, and that was nice. We picked up a decent chunk of Ravalor too. That was not uh that was not a pittance. Like that was pretty decent. 50? We doubled the Ravalor we've got. We could have probably upgraded one of our items, actually. Not going to, but we could. I guess it was worth doing. I really don't feel like getting my jump interrupted by you guys. That. Ah, good. We got our got our boost jump back. Excellent. Boost excellent. Hop back to where we encountered the Furies. Oops. How are you able to jump stun? <laughs> uh, all right. So. Ah, uh, well, we got a, we got that already. I see the treasure chest is opened, so we already got it. Well, you know what? Wait, I think we already got the herb that was in there. 
Yeah, there was an urban there and we got it already. Can we hit that from here? Yes, we can. That's not happening, buddy. That. Oh, oh. Oh, there was another one. Where's the other one? Wait, where is the other one? Or did that one just hit me? Yeah, that one must have just hit me. Same one, huh? Hmm. I didn't think they could hit you when you jump at it that way. But I guess so. Charge up the fireball. Deal with this guy this way. Really? How many times is it going to take? Now. <laughs> That's a better way of dealing with that. Two hit points, I'm not all that worried about it. Principle of the thing. That already good. You hit me, so now you gotta go down. I think we got what was out that way already. Oh, I see how we get in there. I must have been tired at the end of last stream. That was, that was definitely worth it. Wow, that was really worth it. Fuck yeah. Sweet. Is this the way I should be going? Or is this optional? This was optional. And up this way is the midpoint where we fought the Furies. And now we get to go even further into this bullshit. <sighs> this is the part of the Elder Mountains that I really hate. That's all right. The rest of the game should be worth it. Ah, yep, that's where we fought the Furies. And now we proceed. And now we're back into unexplored territory. Yeah, it took too long. Wow, we're making some serious money, though. We'll be able to afford the Banded Slayer before too long. Of course, finding all that extra money helped. Oh, it still managed to nick me for a point of damage. That's pretty weird. Not the end of the world, but... What's going on down here? What's going on? Ah, all right, we've found the hut. All right, let's do this. Mm. Fiery red hair, clear black eyes. They're just as he described, Adol. My name is Burhart. I suppose you could call me a hermit, though I'd prefer you not. Since arriving at my cabin, Dogie's done nothing but speak of his journeys with you. Adol explained the circumstances of his visit and inquired about the legend of Genos. I see. Dogie expressed similar concerns, though it seems things are much more urgent than I'd assumed. Very well. I'll tell you everything I know about the legend. You've heard some of the story from Mayor Edgar, of course, and I can verify that everything he told you is true. I'm quite familiar with the rest as well, and indeed, all of it is entirely factual. Ages ago, a demonic creature called Galbalan drifted ashore in Felgana, 
and assume control of the entire la land. Sorry, <laughs> somebody's blowing off fireworks in the parking lot. You probably can't hear them, but that's kind of disturbing or distracting. And yes, eventually a warrior named Genos did indeed defeat the creature. Things are never quite that simple, however. The story continues. After he defeated Galbalad, Genos used the power of four statues, known as the Holy Treasures, to seal him away. In essence, since a being of that caliber cannot be destroyed so easily, Galbalad was shackled, imprisoned. Genos later hid the statues in the most inaccessible, inhospitable places he could find, far from human hands. Seemed like a good idea at the time. To ensure that the power sealed within could never be released, he appointed his descendants to watch over them. It would seem the statues you found are indeed those same holy treasures. And for some reason, the vile power they're meant to contain is leaking out into the countryside. I believe that's the reason for the monster attacks over the last year. Perhaps it's all part of Count Maguire's evil scheme. Whatever that may be. He's probably deluded himself into thinking he can use the statue's power to make the monsters do his bidding. And even, and even Bearheart here knows how stupid of an idea that is. From what you and Dogi have told me, it seems highly likely that one of the statues is here in the Elder Mountains. Dogi went deeper into the caves in search of it hoping to get his hands on it before Maguire does. If you intend to go after him, and undoubtedly you do, I'd suggest you hurry, as I'm sure the chase is afoot. I think this guy will uh, heal me too. Uh, let's ask about Genos. The boast you heard in the abandoned mine definitely seems to have been that of Genos himself, from beyond the grave. I'm guessing those bracelets you've got were once his too, actually. The legend talks of a holy sword, but some versions do also make note of magic bracelets. Seems more than a coincidence. If you can master their power, you'll be unstoppable. The legend claims, uh, asking about the statues here. The legend claims there were four holy treasures that channeled the power of the gods to invoke an unbreakable seal. Seems that seal isn't so unbreakable after all though, and Galbalan's power is slowly seeping out. But the question is why? What exactly is causing that to happen? What about Chester? Sorry, but I'd rather not talk about him right now. Not to you, nor to Dogi. All I can say is he has to be stopped. We can't allow him to take this any further than he already has. It must end now, before it's too late. I'll take him down myself if I have to. All right, dude. Well, <laughs> that old hermit's kind of badass. I don't see any herbs, right? No herbs, no herbs, okay. How many of those things do we have also? We have two. Okay. So we need to find two more. Wow, we only have two? We really only have two? Well, all right, I guess we only have two. Oh, and we got more. Hate this fucking thing. Okay. I do remember for those when they're twirling around, you really can't get at them very well. But if you jump from above, you can um, you can make yourself an opening. I mean, it's either that or you wait for the opening, which seems tedious. But we're already there, maybe as well wait for it. Come on, give us our opening. All right, fine. We'll make our opening. But yeah, if you wait long enough, you will have an opening. But you do have to wait a while. Kind of a pain in the ass. Bastard. Come here. You couldn't even give me a health item for all that damage you just did to me, you little bastard. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh, 
guess we just hop up here. Right? Alright, so why does this exist this way? Right? Why would it... Oh, okay. In order to get out, you have to go up this way and then jump across. That's why it's that way. Oh, we got five Ravalor for that. That was pretty neat. This guy. Oh, I thank you. I appreciate the strength boost. And that's what happens when you miss time. Oh, look at that. There's another one. All right, so now we just need to find one more berm leaf and we can call that side quest done. You know, I don't know if I ever found that berm leaf, actually. That may be the missing berm leaf that I never found. So I feel like I got all of them, which means I must have gotten three before. I just didn't get the last one. So there's a treasure chest over there. One of those things where I have to drop down to it. Yep. Well. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that level. Uh, okay, so this is how we jump over here. Oh, I think I see how we're supposed to do this. And there we go. All right, we got it. Oh, we got a cattle elixir. That's a nice little HP boost. We're going here. That, hell yeah, max HP up. You betcha. We need HP. <laughs> That's valuable. <sighs> See that up there, but I don't think we can get up there. I think it's just there for looks. And to try and trick you into trying to get up there. Okay. Well, we're not at the slidey, slidey part yet. Oh, but there are these assholes all over the place. We can't really fight them very well. We need the Earth Talisman for that. Oh, shit. Oh. Shit. There we go. All right. Otherwise, that thing would just keep spawning more of those little bastards. Ugh. Ow. Ugh. I hate not really being able to do a lot to those guys yet. Once we get the earth magic, we'll be able to kill these things. Um, do I want to go this way? I don't know if I want to go this way. All right, so that way goes to a new level, new area. Let's see what goes on over here. Let me go down this way. Huh? Let's see what's down. Okay, they both go to new areas. Shit. And now it begins. The Seraph getting lost in... Okay, that's Dogie. That's the way forward. Okay, so let's go over here and see what's over here. Because there might be a treasure chest of something valuable. Bastard. Ah! Uh, fine. Run! Run, Adol, run! Let's see what's over here. So we got whatever this is. Yep, we need money. Take that. More of this bullshit. More of these assholes that I can't really... I don't think I can hit them either without the earth magic. What's this way? Something good down this way? Please tell me there's something good down this way. Man, this thing is massive. Alright. This better be fucking worth it. Probably just money. Ugh. Of course there's ice everywhere. God damn it. No! Oh my god, why? I hate this so much! Oh my god, why? <laughs> Holy fuck, man. Right, well, sure, we'll take the extra health. Alright, we'll take one. Yeah, now yeah, we need one. Alright, now we just need to get the hell out of here. 
Get me out! Ugh. You can't get any momentum because they interrupt you and they bounce you back. Ugh. So lame. I hate ice levels so fucking much. I don't know who came up with the idea that the ice level where all the normal physics in the entire- God damn it, let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. All right, we gotta use the fucking wing. We got trapped. Couldn't get out of there. Elder Mountains midpoint. Couldn't, couldn't escape it. Yeah, I don't know who at some point in history decided, you know, ice levels where you can't really control yourself? That's a great idea. Fuck that person. <laughs> I wish them a thousand misfortunes for this bullshit. I hate ice levels so fucking much. Controls that work through the entire rest of the game to have what is normally a fun game. And this applies to any game, right? Any game, not just this game. Any game. Then all of a sudden it goes right out the window. You can't control yourself. Just a bunch of bullshit. And it's usually a later hard game too. So you get not only do you lose control over yourself, where it's like, all right, you know, we're going to give you shitty controls for a while and we're going to send tough enemies after you because fuck you, that's why. Yeah, who invented ice anyway? All my homies ate ice. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. All right, we needed the money or we need the money anyway. It just sucks that we got trapped around those guys and we literally couldn't escape. I mean, literally, literally couldn't. If we didn't have the wing, we were dead there. Like, thank goodness we have the wing. So it's not end game. It's just inconvenient, but it's super lame. You literally can't escape that. There's nothing you do. You just, you just die. <laughs> hey, wrong turn, asshole. Shouldn't have tried coming for this money. <laughs> I mean, unless that's the point. I suppose that could be. That guy. I hit that guy instead of this thing. All right. We are getting a lot of money, though. We're going to be able to afford that sword very shortly. Thank God. Oh, I hit that thing instead of this. Yes. Kill this thing. Really? None of you dropped a healing item? Mm. Whatever. We're getting some good Ravel Ore, too. We've already got up to 150. Oh, wow, we hit both. That was nice. Fuck you. Ooh, that's a... What? <laughs> Perfect. I'm dead up there, all. I don't care what you smell. Although up in the mountains, snowy mountain, snow in particular, you're probably not going to smell a whole lot. So for the most part, I've noticed, like, remembering, bastard, I just wanted the money. Well, at least it gave me my health back. But I remember um, growing up in a snowy environment up in Jersey, and whenever it, smo whenever it snowed, you really couldn't smell a whole lot. Hate these things. You just have to avoid them for right now. <clears throat> not a whole lot we can do. Right, so down we go. Down, down. Okay, but this time we go right. We don't go left. Left does not lead to anything good anymore. We've completed the, all the left. So here's Dogie. Let's see what's up. Hey, buddy. He's a little surprised to see us. What, what are you doing here? Adol told Dogi all <clears> about <throat> the events that had led him to the Elder Mountains. Man, you've been busy. The master filled me in on a few things too. And I definitely think we need to get all the statues before McGuire does. But as you can see, we seem to have reached an impasse. Like a big ass gorge kind of impasse. <laughs> Looks like a problem. For you. I've searched everywhere else, so I figure Eldrum's statue must be somewhere on the other side. But wouldn't you know it, 
You'd have to be able to fly to get over there. There's gotta be a way. Moves at all. <clears throat> Only problem is, they don't help me in the slightest. I can't possibly join you. Guess you'll have to go it alone from here. Oh, but before you do, there's something I meant to give you. Here, catch. There we go. And now we have all three types of magic. I ran across that while searching the mountain caves. Nice find, Dogie. I noticed it looked like the other two bracelets you were using, so I figured I'd hold on to it for you. <laughs> what it, what, what, imagine that, a companion who's actually fucking useful. All right, show stealer, <clears throat> I won't hold you up any longer. I can tell you're rearing to go. Good luck, man. I'll be waiting right here for you, bored stupid. So make sure you hurry back, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna call bullshit on that. You never just sit still. An asshole. Oh, really? I couldn't kill you in that? Gotcha that time. Gotcha. Nice. Okay. Now then. Now we can kill those things. It still takes a bit, but we can do it now. <clears throat> we can also kill these fuckers. Eh, I don't think so, buddy. Oh, that. All right, can I get through this yet? Yes, I can. Okay. So that begs the question, do I need... Ah, uh, never mind. Answers, answers that question. So now we get the charge, Earth. All right, now... Now we actually go wander for a quick bit, because now we need to find a couple of things. We're gonna go back into the Ilburn's ruins. I think we're gonna go into the drop-off. Now Seraph just needs to remember where those were. They do negligible damage to me now. At some point I'm gonna get a an achievement for killing enough of these things. Eventually. Look, that's enough out of you. It is over here somewhere. There's a uh, destructible wall. We need to find it. I just don't remember exactly where it is. I feel like it's over here somewhere. But if it's not here, you know what it's my We saw it a whole bunch of times and it's like, alright, we'll come back for this. But I... There it is! Perfect! Kill that thing. Perfect. Money, money. And we get some more Ravalor. Ooh, we get a lot of Ravalor from that. Fucking sweet. Okay. Melbourne's Ruins. Top side. And now we... Oops. Skip past all this. And now we just go back up to the Ilburn's ruins up this way. A little bit of backtracking, 
but there's a destructible wall that we can now knock over. And we're gonna do it. Actually, there may have been a room we missed too. Because it's a really tough room and it's very easy to die in it. So I think I avoided it the first time. we go. Bad of you. Oh. I will take your money, though. We will take that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That's right there. Boom. I think it's right up here too. It is. Uh, let's deal with all this shit first. Don't really need these guys. Give me grief. <clears throat> now let's see what's in here. Oh, shit. Oh, this is the room I was thinking of. Let's just do this and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, these guys are hardcore, man. Shit. I forgot how quickly they could kill me. I thought by boosting through it, I could get through it. Where is that going to put me? All right. Luckily, not. We didn't lose that much progress. I just gotta not get killed by them again. Right? I've got, uh... Right, because we're topside now. Okay, yes, yeah, so we got whatever was down there. Oh, the cattle elixir, which I did already use, right? Yeah, I must have used it already. Good. Good, good. Okay. This time I need to not die. So this was the room I was thinking of. <laughs> this is the room I was thinking of. Uh, I was the, I was the dentist. I mean, that was as painful as the root canal. <laughs> man, oh man. Oof. How you doing, Deep Fry? My God. Oof. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. Those guys, uh, those guys killed us pretty good. So we need to not do that again. Let's try this again. But at least the game will uh, restore you to the last stone monument you've touched. So you don't lose a ridiculous amount of progress. Well, as long as you've touched one of them recently, which we, of course we did because we warped to it. This time, we're not going to try to fight them. It's my own fault. I knew better. I just got finished telling everybody, oh, this was the room I talked about where we're not going to mess around with anybody. And then I proceeded to fuck around and find out. enough out of these guys. Let's try that again. Do do do. Okay. Ow. Shit. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we got the spirit cape. And we're just gonna get right the fucking hell out of dodge. Yeah, one hit was more than half my health. Oh my god. See, if I had noticed that, <laughs> I wouldn't even have stuck around at all. I guess I was trying to kill one of them, but that was a really, really, really stupid idea. That was a heinously dumb idea. Anyway, buy Welcome. equipment. Now we can that buy the Bandit Slayer. Hell yeah. Stranger. Now let's upgrade that. 
us. What do you got for me? Get a quick temper. This one? Good oh, to yeah, go. we will. All right, so I don't have enough gold to temper it, but I do have enough to, um, I have enough Ravalor. I just don't have enough gold. We're going to get gold pretty quick. I thought you went to the dentist. No, Friday was uh, my birthday. I had uh, physical therapy. Come again. That's what you're thinking of. Uh, but my physical, okay, so that, yeah, my physical therapy went well. Uh, for the most part, my physical therapy usually goes pretty well. I get reevaluated for physical therapy on Monday. And of course they do that on Monday at noon because, you know, why not do it in the absolute minimum, you know, middle of the day. Now, oh yeah, <laughs> our offense is going from 161 to 175. A little bit better. Now, one of the cool things and why it was cool to get the spirit cape as long as we stand still now, no matter where we are, we're going to we're going to regenerate health, which is awesome. Yeah, there we go. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. All right. Back to the Elder Mountains. Let's go within. It's as far as we've gotten. Okay. You. Come here, you little bastard. Come here. Come here. Now we got you. Okay. But I think we've. We have a boss up here? Ah. Deal with this guy first. Oh. Of course, he's gonna go out of range for me. Hey, little bastard. Yeah, that's enough out of you. Okay, perfect. Okay. We dealt with them. Oh, God, we got another one. Ah, I couldn't get up there high enough. There we go. Got that. Convenient that he went down far enough. What's okay? We charge. Now we can get through here. I don't see any of those herbs. We're good here, right? Yeah. So far, so good. We just need one more, right? Yep. We just need one more. Perfect. Onward. Ah. I wanted. Oh, we got timed it just right. Sweet. Yeah, if you time it just right, you can just wipe him out. Oh, fuck. And now it's the slidey part. Is there anywhere else I could go? No, there's nowhere else I could go. Oh, fuck. I'm going to fall a lot and slide a lot. I hate this fucking part. God damn it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here it goes. Fucker. And of course, you gain momentum when you slide and you may gain momentum when you fucking hit one of these assholes oh you motherfucker up 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 okay okay I don't think I want to go that way but maybe I do I don't actually know which way I want to go here I think let's go up this way you no, no, oh, there it goes. God damn it. And now we're down in this area. Oh, this sucks so much. I hate this part so much. I hate this part. I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh my God. Why? Why did somebody think it was a good idea to do this? I don't understand. I'm genuinely my it boggles my mind how someone could come up with yeah you know what let's come up with this thing that isn't fun in any way shape or form and can only be interpreted as fucking annoying as shit I do I hate it I hate it I hate it I hate it oh my god why so at some point we're gonna find uh, stone shoes and then we'll stop sliding around but in the meantime 
Anytime we fuck up and make a mistake on this, it's gonna mean we're gonna use the wing to get back up here. Uh, see if I can get back over here. Okay, okay, so. No, no! Damn it. Fucked up. See, I can't even do it close to the wall because I'll bounce off the wall. And then once you bounce off the wall, it's game, it's it's over because you just fall. So I have to be very, I have to be so careful about how I try to get past these guys. Maybe, maybe I should just try to ignore them for the moment. Let's kill that one. Well, I could go back to town. But you know what? Let's try, let's try getting past it one more time. Damn it. Let's go back to town. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I know that song. Yes, you do, Phoenix. Yes, you do. So this is the level it comes from. And in this game, it's... So in the TurboGrafx version, that's Mount Seco. It's not that bad. What do but you got for me? This the one? in this Good game... To this the one? Good to go. I'm gonna need more than that. Oh, I need more Ravalor. Okay, but we at least upgraded our equipment. So we could leave. We could save. Uh, but this part of it, yeah, when you don't have the frickin' stone shoes that prevent the sliding, it's just the most miserable fucking experience ever. <laughs> but how are you doing tonight, uh, Nade? We're, we're playing my favorite, favorite type of level, the ice level. It's fucking great. It's, it's just the most joyous occasion ever. Oh, so lame. <laughs> Once we get the stone shoes, it's not going to be that bad. But yeah, there are so many falls that, um, it's, it's just, it's a very frustrating experience all in all. Okay, so maybe I'm not supposed to go time that right. Kill this guy. Kill that guy. All right. Got this, so maybe what I should try to do instead, maybe there's a way to go this way. Maybe there's a way to go that way. Let's try that, shall we? Almost, actually almost made it. All right, so that might be the way to try this. That might be the better try. Do all three, three. Ah, nice. <laughs> yeah, I saw you guys were playing. Yeah, I think that's the better play. Rather than trying to go up and around, I think we're, I'm better off trying to use the wind, uh, the wind jump to just try to avoid this shit. Oh, we're getting Ravalor. That part's nice. Oh, man. Good hero. Okay, make sure this guy... Oh, I hit the button too late. That's what I wanted to do, though. That looked good. That looked good. All right, so we just got to keep trying this and eventually make it across. I don't think there's anywhere else to go at this point. I think we've explored everything, so I, I just have to make this fucking super annoying jump. Um, which, who knows? Maybe for most people isn't all that hard. Maybe it's just hard for me. Maybe it's just me that struggles with the, these ice levels and these ice physics and, um, you know, making precise jumps when you lose, um, damn it. Fuck! <laughs> it's so annoying! <laughs> it's so annoying, Chad. I hate this shit so much. <laughs> Uh, see, I'm probably going to be at this a while because I might be, I, I might also be doing it wrong. So part of me is also trying to figure out if that is the way I should be doing it. Um, and also trying to do it right. So there's, you know, two components to this shit. There's the, is Seraph even doing it right? I think I am. Or I think I've got the right idea.
No, no, I was... Damn, I was there. I was fucking there. I fucking had it. Shit. All right. Getting closer, though. <sighs> yeah, and once we get the stone shoes, it'll be a little better. I mean, it's still not going to be... This whole cave sucks. But... Once we get the stone shoes, we're not going to struggle nearly as much. Or at least, I won't struggle nearly as much. Yeah, yeah. All right. About here, right? About here? About here? Right. Oh, shit. He saw me. No, 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 don't you dare, don't, god damn it! And then of course you get that fucking bastard that sits there! <laughs> I know, <laughs> this is gonna be great comedy for anybody else. And there's nothing to gain down there, I don't think anyway, I think it's the same area I was in before. Uh, and of course I'm cheesing it with the wing. Uh, I mean there's money down there, but there really isn't anything else to be had, but um... But yeah, I mean, some... What fucking sadist came up with this fucking design for a jump? Like, seriously, this is... This is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. Come here. Come here, asshole. Alright. Of course, it's so slippery. You need the Iron Sheik sound alert, right? Uh, I don't think I have that one in my soundboard. But yeah, that'd be a good one. That would be a good one. All right. But now we... Shit. He's gonna knock me off, isn't he? Nope, he didn't. All right, so at least now we got rid of that one. Unless I think, you know what? Actually. No, all right. Occurred to me, what I could do. There's another way we could do this. There's another way we could do this. Just occurred to me. There's another way we could try doing this. That might be better than the jump. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try this. Right get to the top. That's probably not a good idea. The less time I spend up there, probably the better. I think the jump is the way to try this. <sighs> so yeah, one of the reasons why people say this game is, is a little hard is shit like this. It's shit like this. Unrelenting... Complete horseshit. All right, so let's... Okay, good. You're coming over? Yeah, there we go. Come here, buddy. If I could kite the other ones more reliably, I would do it. All right, we got this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> damn it, damn it. 
<sighs> yeah, platforming. Hey, deep fry. So, for anybody who doesn't know, ice levels are the bane of my fucking existence. Even in games that I really enjoy, like this one, I hate ice levels. They're bullshit. They suck. It's horse shit. I think it also ties into I don't like games where the controls are bad. And um, obviously in ice levels, the controls are by definition bad. And so a game like this, which normally is really, really tight uh, controls wise, you end up with this slippery and slidey bullshit. And of course, you have this like really unreasonably tight jump that you have to make. Okay, 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 we're good. Okay. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, get up there. Oh, you bastard. No! No! That's so cheap! No! 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 Don't kill me! Oh my god, don't knock me over! Okay, okay. I did not remember that was up there. Holy shit. Okay, we're up here. We're up here. Okay, okay, okay. Everything's fine. What about Winters? Uh, you know, Winters... Winters is probably the exception, actually. Winters is not so bad. You know what? That's another reason why Earthbound is the GOAT fucking game. Because Winters is not... is not so fucking bad. No! Okay. No! Oh, Seraph, you dumb shit! God damn it! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so when I get there, do not even think about what I need to do is unequip the um the wind jump. Cause yeah, you can't use the wind jump anywhere near a wall in this fucking thing. Oh, we were there. We were there. Oh, it's not what I wanted. I wanted to jump down, kill that guy. Okay. Alright, we got this though. We're getting there. The more practice I get with it, the better we'll get with this shit. Oh, shit. I made it interesting by doing that, but I think we still got this. Nope. Nope. Don't. God damn. God damn. Uh, you made it. Yeah, I know. You, it looked like you went out of your way. I know. I know. The problem is, again, the controls in ice levels are so bad. They're so bad. All the rules of the entire rest of the game go completely out the window. So things you're used to working a certain way now no longer do. Uh, it works in a completely different bullshit way. Mm. We got this. It was almost there on that one. Ah, oh, I didn't stop moving in time. And of course, it's so precise. Yeah, it's the default overcorrecting when you think you over... Right, yep, yeah, yeah. And again, it, it is... The precision on this required is so precise. And it's, it's just aggravating when the game up to this point does not require that level of precision. But now... It does require it, and it also makes your movements incredibly imprecise. So it's just... It's just not... Not the greatest. Not the greatest time. And of course it doesn't do that for... So what happens is when you do the wind attack against enemies, you don't bounce back. But if you... Uh, as you can see... Now it even doesn't even do it here. It only does that... It'll, it'll boost you back a little bit, but because the ice physics work in midair, also, it drifts you when you're in the air um, in a way that it doesn't do in the entire rest of the game. So you're just not used to it. So here, what I could do... What I could do, right? Okay. Could do. Could go this way instead. Think. 
But then again, no, you know what? I don't think I can make that jump because I don't think I can make these series of jumps. So I think we have to go this way. No, I do think we have to go this way. Maybe I could earth jump that the whole way, but I don't think so. But at least this way, I don't have to worry about them and I don't have to rush the jump now. So let's see. Right, now we start fighting. Okay. Oh. No, there it goes. Yep. And the second you hit him, it deflects you away. Damn it. Yeah, the platforming is difficult even without the enemies. The enemies being here adds a uh, extra level of ridiculous difficulty. And by the way, this is on normal. We're playing this game on normal. Generally speaking with East games, one of the ways that they make the difficulty harder is they fuck with your controls to make the timings even mo require more precision than they do in normal. So I don't even want to know how difficult this shit would be. Oh, you fucking little shit. Yep, super awesome. But I think once we get through that area, we can get to the stone shoes. And, um... I mean, I suppose what I could try to do is see if we can, um... do the earth jump, and maybe the earth boost will get us up the mountain. We can try that. Why don't we just try it once, just to do it. Come here, buddy. Come here, let's kite this little shithead. Yeah, yeah. Alright, that's enough out of you. Switch to the fire magic. Actually, let's just try this. Wow. That looks really inefficient. I don't think that's going to work. Okay. Well, good. We've figured that out that that's not going to work. All right, so we get over here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no! How did I get up there? I feel like I just did that. Now my hands are actually getting sweaty. That's how you know platforming is ridiculous when your hands are getting sweaty. I normally do not get... Well, I normally don't play games that require your hands to get sweaty. Ugh. <sighs> I knew this shit would be annoying, but I didn't think it would be this annoying. I actually don't remember this jump being all that awful, so it's possible I'm just mistiming this jump also. I think I need to... Oh, you fucker. Yeah, yeah. Okay. As long as you jump straight up and you hit it at the periphery, you pretty much won't bounce, which is what I think I need to do. Whoops. Okay, hit the wrong button there, but still got away with it. do this. Damn. You know, I should actually explore down there and just make sure that that's actually the room I think it is. Actually, one thing we will do here, let's... Let's always dash at the moment so I don't have to hit it. Which, for this, unintuitively, should actually make our lives more difficult, but it'll make it easier for me to, um... Come on, buddy. Come here, asshole. You. You're still hit me. But at least now I don't have to double tap. It'll make the button presses a little easier. <sighs> oh, 
No, you little ball, you shit fucker. Mm. Right, I meant to actually explore down there this time. So yeah, chat, um, I'll probably be more chatty now because I got nothing. <laughs> We're going to be doing this over and over again until I finally get it right. And if I remember correctly, you know what? That's actually easier. Rather than wasting time hitting, the, killing those guys, let's just we go. Alright, so it needs to be slightly higher. But if I can... <laughs> nobody's allowed to leave. <laughs> no shit. Uh, like, honestly, thank goodness for the wing, because otherwise every time we fell, we'd have to work our way all the way back up. So I think... Alright, so I think what I want to do... All right, so at least we can make our lives a little. Nope, I went. Too far. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't stop my movement fast enough. But at least we can make each subsequent attempt a little bit faster. Oop. Good grief! If I don't make this run, I'm gonna run and get some uh, an extra drink here. Also to give my hands a little bit of a break. I do want to at least get that one out of the way, so I can get so I can time up this a little bit. I want. Yep, let's do it. Damn it. All right. I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to grab myself a real quick drink. I'll, I'll be back in two seconds. <laughs> We're going to do it eventually. I'll eventually get a hang, hang, a hang of that.
<laughs> I'm trapped! <laughs> I'm back. Sorry. I went downstairs, woke up Cleo, and then she wanted food and a treat and some pets. Because God forbid Seraph goes to his refrigerator and just gets another drink, you know, without the cat asking for food and stuff. We got a beautiful sunset today. So uh, <laughs> at this point, I decided to open up the window so we'd at least gaze at the uh, pretty sun while we suffer through this bullshit. But yeah. Uh, so this is a good point, time to point out that, um, I have never beaten this game. You're probably figuring out why. Because <laughs> of this, ver this very bullshit. All right. I don't, I don't need my jump thrown off by these guys. That is that spot. So that's just below. Okay. So if I ever want to just run through this, it's that spot. Hey, no. Uh, no! Damn it! I got too close to it. Fuck. <laughs> We were there. I mean, we're getting the hang of it. Um, I mean, I am getting the hang of it. It's just, it's that part now that's the tricky part. But at least now I can get over there pretty easily. But uh, when I played through this, I do remember this jump being one of the harder things to do in the game. And it is, It's it's it just is. about it, asshole. <laughs> that enemy's positioning in particular just seems fucking so sadistic, right? Is it just me or is it fucked up that that enemy is right there? Or am I totally missing something and I'm, tr and I'm doing this the hard way? Like, is that enemy there to make sure that I'm not trying to cheese it and um, and not do it the way it's designed to do. Like, am I doing it? Am I doing this? To, like it gets to a point where you do wonder. Like, am I doing this the hard way? Like it actually does make me wonder. Um, is Seraph is Seraph doing this the hard way? Like I feel like this is the only way to do it because I don't think you can get up that up that slight. Um, shit. Nope. Yep, there's that. Okay, well, that's not where I wanted to be, but hey, we got him. Uh, now I just need to make sure I don't... Yeah, there we go. God. I just, I don't see how it's possible to go up. I, I feel like the way I'm doing it is the way I have to do it. But in a way, that's also part of the game screwing with you. <laughs> it makes you even doubt, like... Are you even doing it the right way? Because it feels like it's harder than it's supposed to be. And you start doing, trying other things other than just working on the one thing that you probably should be doing. But yeah, at this point, I feel like this is what I should be doing. Try not to get this guy to come over here. Good. Yeah. Too late, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. All right, no, 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 come on. No. Come oh, on, yes! Ah, no! <laughs> All right, so what I should have done there is really quickly switch to Earth and boost it up. That would have gotten me up there. That would have gotten me up there. I, I didn't do it fast enough. But that, that is how you're supposed to... Like, when you get that close, that would have gotten me up there if I had just done that. Uh. 
No. <sighs> you know, this is the part where I'm glad I don't have channel points yet, because this would be the part where you guys would have all too much fun with, like, a counter of, like, how many times will Seraph fall off this cliff? No, come on, let me through that. Thank you. Because <laughs> it's a lot. I don't think anybody's keeping track, but it's a lot. Actually, we could, uh... You know what, the next time I, I fuck up, we'll, uh... Oh, I don't have enough moment momentum. Yeah, I didn't have enough momentum. I knew it. I jumped too. I jumped too soon. 42. The answer is always 42. That's right. Well, since we have enough Ravel Ore, let's upgrade our uh, shield. And we're inadvertently farming for XP because I keep killing the fucking things as uh, we're going what through it. For me? This the one. Good to go. Yep. All right. Well, we got max uh, equipment here, so that's uh, nice. Is there anything we can buy? Or... Welcome. Don't be a stranger. Welcome. Buy items. Uh, yeah. Well, let's buy a cattle elixir. That's sure. A thank you. Yep. That works. Don't be a stranger. Yeah, we're we're gonna make our money. Oh, I think Welcome. I need. Yeah. Don't I need be a stranger. All right. Well, but we'll get there. Hmm. We'll get our max HP up again. Let's try and hit the right button this time. Elder Mountains! Back to within! Alright! I mean, we're still getting stronger. <sighs> but yeah, I hate this. I hate this jump. I hate this jump. That was nice. Oh, no, no. Shit. Uh, I think I'm off course. Nope. No, don't you think they... No! You bastard! <laughs> Little bastard. If it weren't for that one fucker, this would... I mean, it would be still be a hard jump, but it wouldn't be nearly as hard. I wouldn't be doing this over and over and over again. Again, I don't know what, sadi who, what sadistic fucker came up with this. Clearly it's somebody who didn't either didn't think that this would be all that difficult or thought this would be fucking hilarious. I'm actually not sure which of the two it is. I actually kind of hope that it would be I went too far now. Come on. Come on. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got him. Right. Oh. Okay. Okay, people. All right. Nope. nope. Now we're gonna. Nope. 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 Yeah. Damn it. We built up too much speed on the way down. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! <laughs> I actually don't like normally dashing because you... I find I jump more precisely when I'm just moving, but for this you need to be dashing for that part. So unfortunately, there's not a whole lot else you could do. Okay. Got lined up. Okay. Should be good there. No! Damn it! Why did you do that one? You did that other one last time. 
I must have hit it twice, fucker. Hey, that's alright though. Come on, get up there! Get up there! Get up there! Thank you. Okay. Okay, we got this, folks. No, 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 don't you, don't you fucking dare. Okay. Okay, we made it. Fucking A, we fucking made it. <laughs> Holy fucking Luya! <laughs> All right, the problem is, I think we could still drop. So we have to make sure I don't do that. But at least, you know what? And for the most part now, we've got that figured out. Even if I have to make that jump again, I now have a little more confidence in being able to do it. Nothing there. You little bastard. But now we're also back under control. Come here. There you are. Come on, buddy. Reform somewhere. There you are. That little shithead. All right, I do want to get that treasure chest, but I think it's probably just Ravel Ore. <sighs> I don't remember if there's anything in that. Yeah, I don't think there is. I think that's just a weird cavern shape there. Yeah, I think it's a weird shape of the cavern. Nope, you fuckers die. I'm not chasing that. I don't feel like falling a ridiculous amount. Okay, so if I fall that way, I can get to that treasure chest. I really don't want to do it yet, so fuck it. Killed him outright, cool. Oh, nope, there it is. Ah, fucker. Oh, that was nice. Okay, so we gained XP, mostly be... Mostly by being incompetent with that jump. <laughs> I basically gained a level from uh, all that bullshit. Okay, so let's go this way and down. And down. Oh, we got more of this. It begins again. Ah, right. Okay, so if I had fallen there, I'd fall down here and I'd be able to go do that. All right, so let's see if we can... Let's go down. Damn it. Okay, so that's what I need to do. I need to slide left, and then we'll be able to get to that treasure chest. Nope. 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 Go that way. Thank you. Well, that would have been nice. Oh, come on, Seraph. Oh, damn it. I hate not being able to control myself. That is the worst. That's definitely something that gets me off my game. In general. Yeah, it was just Ravalor, but it was a lot. <laughs> I was uh, in another tab. Can you do it one more time? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 Nate. Hey, 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 fuck you. <laughs> That's a sentence taken out of context, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh well okay he's he's gone oh no no i don't want to go this way no go up this way uh i think we do need to go down this way actually so let's do it all right we're back down to normal 
Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Wow, that was a lot of gold. Sure, I like money. Come here, you little bastard. Got that timing down pretty well. All right, what's over here? That, oh God. Oh, that was down over there. So there's something up over here if we go down there again. All right, well, I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. Never mind, it was telling me I could go down this way, this way, cool. Out how to get up there. Okay, I cannot let myself fall this way. Mm hmm. Hmm. How do I get to that treasure chest? Ooh, how do I get to that? That we need to get. Figure this out. Ooh, Ravalor. You. Let's head back up this way. Hmm. Get down that way. Must be over this way somewhere. Unless I drop down that way the whole way, but I'd really rather not mess with that. All right, once I get to a save point, and we know we can... No, wait, we need to go this way. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Damn it. Seraph, you idiot. Go, got that one. Looks like a drop that if you miss, you land on that safe spot. Maybe. Come here, you little shit. Ow! If we drop down here, we could get to that thing. Should be able to get to that thing, but boy, uh... Oh man, we might drop anyway. Shit. Nope, there we go. No sh Well, here we go with this. There we go. Oh boy. All right, so I guess that's where we're supposed to go. Holes. That's enough out of you. We'll take their health recharge. All right. So we could go down there, drop down there. Oh, we, that's just where we were. That's literally, that's literally where we just were. We just went about it the other way. I wonder how you get to that treasure chest. But now that we know that we're not going to get completely fucked over by trying, we're just in the same area. Let's find out. Huh. Yeah, it looks like... Wow, how do we get to that? Because if we drop from the main span down, I don't think we can get out far enough to get to that. I think we have to come about it the other way. Damn it. Yeah, if we drop over this way, I don't think we can get back to it. Or are you talking about a different drop nade? Go back over here. Now that we know we're not going to get penalized more than this level, more than this room, rather. Oh, 
<laughs> huh. Now these guys all respawned. No. I get to that. It's probably just Ravalor, but it could be a cattle elixir. So it'd be nice to get if it's possible. Ah! Nah, we couldn't, couldn't, couldn't do that. I didn't think it would be that easy, though. I didn't think the game would make it that easy on me. Ow! <laughs> I don't really know. It looked like you had to fall into it. Yeah, it look, it, that's what it does look like to me. I agree. It looks like you have to fall to it. I totally agree. It's just a matter of figuring out how to fall to it. Because it looks like the ledge to fall to it is actually over more over here where I'm at right now. Um, so I thought maybe if I'm over on the left, we could kind of sail over to it. Let's try it one more time. If not, I'm not going to bog things down too much with this. Yeah, you saw where I was kind of going with that. But yeah, it doesn't let you go any forward than that doesn't let you cheese it by falling over there. You can't jump at it from over here. Oh, we don't play that. Really? Take that money, though. Please and thank you. We can afford another cattle elixir now. That part's nice. I meant to do that, but same difference. Yeah. I'll probably go to sleep and then be like, oh, right, that's how you do that. In the moment, it's a standard treasure chest. I'm not excessively worried about it. Yeah, it feels like it'd be something like this that you would then jump over to. But yeah, no, I don't really see. I'm not really seeing how you get to it at this point. Wait, is that the way? What's going on here? Okay, this we knocked over. Shit, I don't know which way we should we should go. Fuck. We can exit out of both ways. Let's uh Ow. Let's exit this way and see what might be in this general direction. Considering this isn't also Because the other way is total ice. Although we probably have to go the other way. And hell, for all I know, we have to come at it from a completely different direction, you know? But I definitely don't want to go back to town until um, until we find another uh, warp statue. <laughs> so I really don't want to do that jump if I don't have to. <laughs> I really, really, really don't want to do that jump again. And I think if I remember correctly, playing through this the first time around, if you fuck up somewhere, you'll have to do that jump again. Although I may have just gotten further and uh, taken damage and just been like, shit, I'm going to have to go back there. Oh. So this is a fall location. So if we fell somewhere, we'd fall down here. Got it. OK, right. Seraph does not remember which of these two are better. Ow! They are all bad. Oh, God! Shit, this might be where I, uh... Fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm so low on health now. Right, give me give me health items here now. All right, now I have to be extremely careful because, yeah, I don't want to have to go through and do that jump again. I think this is exactly what ha- Oh, God. Fuck. No. No. Shit. If I go back up this way, 
Yeah. I'll remember. Okay, thank you. I needed that health really fucking badly. <sighs> All right. So this time, avoid the spikes. Oh, we. I kind of had to go down this way. Fine. Down here. No health herb. No, no health herb. Okay. So that was scary as shit. But we uh, got through that. I didn't have to use the warp thing. Where are you little assholes? Go that way. <laughs> Fine. Go that way. So one of the nice parts about the earth magic when you're doing it, you're actually invulnerable for a few seconds and you can absolutely use that to your advantage. Oh God, there's nothing else this way. This was just one big trap, wasn't it? Yeah, there was nothing else out here. Yeah, there was nothing else out here. We just went, we did the whole thing, didn't we? Yeah, we did the whole thing. There was nothing else out here other than some money and some XP. And if I go down that way, I'm gonna have to go down the whole thing again. There was nothing here. Okay, yeah. Nope, there was nothing here. Great, great, great. We gotta go up the fucking super slippery area. Fuck. 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 Wait, does this look different to you guys? Wait, this does look different. I went a different way somehow. Sweet. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. This is definitely a different way we went, though. So let's go back. That totally looked like... All right, so... Wait, did I just go one a one-way... Did I go... A, did I go through a one-way area? Ah, okay, I needed to go right. This way leads me back up this way. But now we have a fucking statue, warp statue, where we can warp to, which is a beautiful fucking thing. All right, now I can explore a little more freely. Cause now I now we have the luxury of being able to warp back. So let's go explore that. What is beyond this area? What's in this bullshit? Uh. Ah. Damn it! Down we go. Damn it! I hate these fuckers. I hate these fuckers so much. I hate not being able to control where I'm going. <laughs> it's the biggest bullshit ever. There we go. He's dead. There we go. All right, now they're all dead. Not that I can grab any of these things. Okay. Let's see if we can do this this time. Come on. Got up here. What's up here? Is there anything good? Ah, okay, this is how we get to this treasure chest. Well, now we know. That was a way better way to do it. Yeah, and I was right. Surprise, Morbius, <laughs> right? I am so glad I did that after I found the uh, warp thing. Okay, so now we're just gonna warp back to uh, that area. Actually, do we upgrade anything else? No, we're all, we'll, full, we'll fully upgrade it. No, you know what? Let's Let's upgrade our health one more time. You know, I think there are stone shoes, but maybe I'm just thinking East Book 1 and 2. Maybe in this game there is no ability to walk on snow without skating around like a fucking fool. Welcome. That's... Thank you. Don't be a stranger. In the meantime, let's use the cattle elixir. Let's gain more HP. Yeah, we still only have three of those herbs. I wonder where the last one is. Yeah, the place could go up a little bit. All right. Yeah, we'll let the dash stay on for now. Though at this point, I probably don't need Probably don't need that. I prefer having the better control and only dashing when I want. Uh, sure. Save. Up. Elder Mountains. Let's go for the Ice Caves. 
And if this is what I think it is. No, you're not going to see me platforming a lot. You're just going to see me die a lot. Yep. Yep, this is exactly what I think it is. Yep. Oh, yeah. This this is going to suck. This is going to suck a lot. Oh, boy. It's a giant clump of bullshit. I mean, ice. <laughs> Faint sounds of breathing could be heard emanating from within. This boss was a lot easier to beat in Wanderers. They gave uh, all the dragons a nice little uh, speed boost in this game. Ow. Damn it. Right. You know what? Oh, damn it. Actually, I would have preferred to have the dash. I should have. Uh... Right. This part's not so bad. I remember this part not being terrible. Damn it. Avoid all that. Damn it. It is a little more difficult when you have to hit the double dash. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, this isn't so bad. The other jump is really bad. So there are two jumps. Sometimes he just does this bullshit. Ow. Damn it, I'm gonna die. It took me too long to figure this shit out. He's not even doing the hard shit yet. Oh, here it comes. That's not so bad. I'll explain in a sec. Well, you'll see in a second when he, oh, here it comes. Ow. Ow. Wow, I'm surprised I'm alive. Yeah, here it comes. Damn it. Fuck. Yeah, he literally throws you up in the air and you end up drop through all this bullshit. <laughs> the dungeon with Flash Freeze the old arena and Oko him. I still have flashbacks to that goddamn bridge of DS, right? Yeah, so let's uh let's not do that. I wanna go back and turn the um I want to turn the auto dash back on because yeah, let's always dash. That's going to make this boss fight so much easier. And uh, yeah, all these dragons get upgrades. So yeah, that bullshit attack where he just chucks you in the air and you fall through all those sledges of rock and your only chance is to very precisely use the earth magic anytime you hit one of those ledges. Otherwise, you just you take ridiculous amounts of damage. And when he gets down, he starts spamming it. It's really bad. <laughs> so actually, we did, but we didn't do all that bad. We got him down like three fourths away, and that was with me being really rusty. We this might actually not be so bad. But yeah, all the dragons seem to have gotten one hell of an upgrade. Yeah, the first part isn't terrible. Yeah, here it begins. All right. Man, that's a lot easier when the dash is just always on. Oh, here it comes. Ow. Come on, double jump at all. Now we got him. Come on. Oh, he's gonna do that bullshit. Damn it. Fuck. <sighs> okay. Survived it. 
bastard. Damn. Damn it. Quinn get knock him down, yeah. Yeah, now he does this shit. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Shit. Got him. Got him even with hitting the wrong wrong button. Yeah, honestly, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> so the boss in the original East 3, I didn't think the dragon in that was all that bad. He's way worse in this version. Way worse. Way worse. <laughs> Actually, all of the bosses in this version are way worse. <laughs> The only exception the four statues began resonating with one another, emitting an unnatural light in the process. Uh oh, that can't be good. <laughs> As the light faded, the entire cavern grew deathly quiet. <laughs> uh, the only exception to that, I think, is the boss in the abandoned mine. I actually think that boss in this version isn't as hard as the TurboGrafx version. I remember the one in the TurboGrafx version when I was playing it and being pretty good at the game. That's the only boss that would regularly kill me. Every other boss in the game, I would just wipe. I, I would mop the floor with. That was the only one, once I got good at it, that ever continuously gave me uh, any kind of trouble. But I think one of its attacks is an instant kill attack. So one of its bolts you just have to avoid or you just die. <laughs> so if you fuck up and that one bolt hits you, it's over. Yep, look at this. The rocks were packed too tightly to be broken with the Terra bracelet. Adol was trapped. <laughs> and this happens in the original as well. Is that you in there, Adol? Are you hurt? Adol shouted back that he was uninjured. Glad to hear my little buddy's okay. That quake caused some of the crevice walls to collapse. I managed to pick my way across, though. But now we gotta do something about these rocks. Adol, I'm gonna need you to step back for a second, okay? Here we go! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, Dogie's a little strong. That's what I'm screaming. Walls zero, Dogie the wall crusher like a million. <laughs> Who needs doors when they got me? <laughs> so if you're counting at home in this series anyway, for East Book 1 and 2, for East Book 1, 2, and now 3, that's two walls that he's bashed down because he bashes down well, no. Does he bash down one or two walls in Darm Tower? Now that I'm thinking about it, he bashes down the one in the in the cellar for sure in the jail to get you out. That's the one I'm thinking of. I don't think he does it again in Darm Tower, but um, well, I made him do it three times and he won. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, he he is known for bashing down walls. That was a new record too, I think. Never took down solid rock before. Should get me in the history books. <laughs> so, looks like you found another statue. Is that all of them? Come on, let's head back to the master's house. Uh, yeah, the, I must be thinking of East Book 1 and 2 for the stone shoes. They don't give him give you stone shoes in this game, I guess. That sucks. Chester, you're here. Hmm. <laughs> Of course. I've been kept well apprised of your actions. Seems you have all four statues now. So, as I said before, I think you'd best give them to me. See, now I war now I got to play East 1 and 2 Chronicles to see what comment he gives you for making you uh making him rescue you three times. 
Now I've got to do that. <laughs> one of these days I'll play East 1 and 2 Chronicles on here. Chester, there's just one thing I need to know. What are you planning to do with these statues? A mere knight dares not question the motivations of Count Maguire. Though I cannot entirely plead ignorance, as I've heard some rumblings on the nature of his glorious plan. That's not what I asked you. I want to know what you plan to do with him. Mm -hmm. How long have you known? I knew from the very beginning. I didn't believe for a second that you felt such contempt toward Elena. That's just not you. And I really couldn't see you serving someone as obviously corrupt as Maguire. Not willingly, anyway. So I figure you've got to have something else up your sleeve. <laughs> your oafish exterior belies your perceptive nature. It always has. Out with it, Chester. What are you really up to? Very well. I suppose this is as good a time as any. What I seek is revenge. Revenge? A tale as old as time. You were born in Thogana, so undoubtedly you're familiar with Genos Island, no? I've never told you this before, but that is the land where my sister and I were born. What? Wait a second. I always heard that Genos Island was wiped out by some kind of plague or something. Indeed. We speak of the same place. However, it was not plague, but monsters that brought about the island's ruin. Monsters? Yes. Monsters. With the appearance of human skeletons clad in armor, they appeared out of nowhere and simply started massacring all the villagers. Our warriors fought back, of course. But the creatures just wouldn't stay dead. We stood no chance. In the end, Elena and I were the sole survivors of the attack. But why? Why would monsters suddenly just appear like that? I'm a vampire, and, and what? Here, here's a million dollars? Here's a shiny new spaceship? <laughs> it was no random occurrence. And therein lies the rub. McGuire was directly responsible for the massacre. He enlisted the services of a dark sorcerer for the task. And we have met that dark sorcerer sorceress, Dularn. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Dularn. Do you have any interest in playing the Trails of games? So I've played a bunch of the Trails of games. I've beaten, um, uh, uh, oh God, um, so I've, I've beaten Trails of Cold Steel, uh, a bunch of those. That was probably my favorite of them. Uh, Trails in the Sky is really good. Um, yeah, the Trails of games are very, very solid. I might play them on stream. I haven't decided if I'm going to play them on stream yet. They're very, they're very long. <laughs> but um, I would say Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2 of all of them are my favorite. Um, I consider those the, the, the pinnacle of, of the Trails of games. But one of my favorite characters of the Trails of games is, and I, th I thought by, by talking a little bit, I would remember her name and I could picture her. Um, I'm having a, a complete, my brain is not retrieving her name. Um, Pius' daughter. Um, oh my goodness. Not Joshua, uh, Estelle. There we go. Yeah, 404, name, name not found. Yeah, no, Estelle. Estelle Bright. I knew eventually my brain would pluck it out. I haven't thought of it in a while. So, of course, my brain was like, yeah, that's in long-term storage. We don't need that. Oh, you need that name and you need it right now? Oh, um. <laughs> so my brain is pretty good with recall, but it's not always the quickest recall. But anyway, I, I guess the, the price you pay for accuracy. But anyway, yeah, Estelle Bright is one of the best, in my opinion, uh, characters fra from any kind of heroine RPG. She's awesome. Uh, and she's in Trails of the Sky. And that, so that would be that would be a fun game to play. My people were the descendants of Genos himself. 
But as far as any, if anybody else is interested, I highly recommend them. Actually, Kai Parasite was playing the Trails of games uh, over the last couple of months. Yeah, he's, he's a pretty good streamer. Um, actually, I should give him a shout out uh, when I do a next you know, uh, Just Chatting section here. We were charged with guarding the holy artifacts that had locked away the Demon Lord's power to prevent their misuse. I would assume Maguire simply considered us a threat to his ambitions. And that's how my sister and I were orphaned and came to live with the mayor of Redmont. So yeah, a uh, somewhat justifiable urge for revenge. <laughs> it's no surprise that Elena's memories of these events have been suppressed. Then you want revenge on... On Maguire. Yes. He will be destroyed by the very power he so desperately seeks. <laughs> and he won't be the only one. I intend to see to it that every living creature in Velestein Castle burns in hell. One of the reasons why I like this game, you really get some very interesting characters of very interesting motivations. Don't worry, Deep Fry, I see your comment. I, I, I'll, I'll chime in in a second with that. Perhaps then, the wounded, defiled souls of my ancestral people can finally know true justice. At long last, after all these years, their anger and hatred will be appeased and eliminating the parasitic slime who sits on Valestine's throne will benefit the entirety of Felgana as well. Now then, why don't you hand over the statues so this can all fall into place? <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to react to all of this. I can't pretend to know how you feel, but just hear me out on one thing. Let's just say that your plan succeeds, and you do get your revenge. What then? Do you think it'll make Elena happy? Hell, will it really even make you happy? <sighs> Insightful on Dogi's part. Sure, Maguire might be a horrible man, and he may even deserve what you're planning for him. But imagine how Elena would feel, knowing the depths you'd sunk to in the name of vengeance. Do you think she'd be proud of what you accomplished? If you just step back and think about it, I know you'll find some other, less drastic way to deal with Maguire. If I explained everything to the townsfolk, they'd understand. And I bet they'd do what they could to help, too. If everyone banded together, we could drive Maguire out of Felgana for good. And send him into exile. You don't have to disgrace yourself over scum like him. So come on. Please, Chester. You have to put a stop to this before it's too late. Come back to town with us. We can all sit down and have a good time. Maybe enjoy one of Elena's home-cooked meals. Look how far I've come, though. Do you honestly believe I can go back now? After all this? No. There's no turning back for me! Ch Chester, you stupid son of a bitch. I love Dogie's reaction. There is still time to save him. If you want him to live, give me the statues. Now! Adol gave the statues to Chester. Excellent. Now, I can use the power of these statues to hurdle all of Valestine Castle into the darkest depths of hell. I hardly need to say it at this point, but you may wish to reconsider trying to stop me. Unless, of course, you want to end up like him. I agree. Totally agree. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit of a... There's a plot here. Very important plot. I can't believe Chester attacked Dogie. This is all my fault, actually. 
Twelve years ago, I served as a Valestine knight. <laughs> yeah, right, Freakbot? <laughs> I was there on Genos Island that day. All the knights were. Our task was to provide backup for Maguire's sorcerer. In other words, we would demand the sidelines and terminate any villagers who tried to escape. And we did just that. But then I met the Stoddard children. And despite my sworn oath to Maguire, I couldn't bring myself to harm them. I hid them instead and snuck them away from the carnage. But I knew I couldn't raise them, so I left them with the mayor and shamefully ran away to this godforsaken shack. I spent my days slowly unraveling Maguire's plans and researching the old tales of Genos and Galbalan. Chester never knew of my knighthood, but he was well aware that I'd saved his life, so he and Togi would often visit. As such, while secretly investigating Maguire, I also took it upon myself to train the two of them in the art of war. Dogi's departure aside, things continued in this manner until just last year. Around the time monsters started appearing all across Felgana, Chester came to see me in quite a panic. The monsters had brought his memories of Genos Island to the surface, and he had no idea how to cope. I told him everything, every single thing I knew about his past and about my role within it. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. I suppose I was looking for some manner of catharsis. All it did was exacerbate Chester's desire for revenge. To be perfectly honest, I haven't the slightest idea what Chester intends to do with the statues. But if he's willing to stab an old friend to get them, then I doubt there's much hope of talking him down. If we let him continue unchecked, the damage he inflicts won't be limited to Valestine Castle, but all of Felgana. Adol, I must ask that you go back to town immediately and tell Mayor Edgar everything that's happened. You needn't worry. I'll take care of Dogi. And once he's back on his feet, I intend to pay the castle a visit. Gotta get your speech chill <laughs> skill to 100. Now, now we can turn it. Always dash. That is kind of annoying. Okay. I still don't know where that fourth herb is, though. Where did that hide? I feel like we were all over that mountain, but oh well. I've never done that side quest. I guess it's not going to be on this playthrough either. I don't know why I'm doing that. We should just be actually Elburn's rooms. I just want to see if that kid is out here yet. The only person who can't be talked down is uh Frank. Yeah, I still don't see this kid out here. I must have missed this one. Damn. Uh Frank Horgan. Wait, wrong series. So yeah, totally agree. He's worse than Dark Fact. Uh here, let's scroll. But here. I wanted to start with Dragon Slayer, The Legend of Heroes 2 games, then more into the first three PSP games. Uh, I've heard mixed things. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it, it depends if it's your cup of tea or not. Um, you know, I would probably try Trails in the Sky because um, that's a good starting point. That's th that's the one that has Estelle Bright and Joshua Bright. Um, Cassius Bright is in it also, but that's a good starting point to the series and it's not too rough. Um, and if you would enjoy that, then you probably would enjoy the rest of the series. I actually didn't. So I really enjoyed Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2. I did not necessarily enjoy Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4. Um, I didn't. Yeah, I, I've toggled out of it to look at the um, chat here. Um, but I didn't really necessarily enjoy those two games. Um, so I think if it were me, I would play if you did go that deep. I mean, I don't know. Once you're that committed, it's like, all right. But you kind of have to suffer, at least in my opinion. You kind of just have to, like, suffer through uh, Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4. They've got a lot of extra padding to them. 3 and 4 could easily have just been one game as far as I'm concerned. But, I mean, 
it, it is what it is. Plus, three has some um, awkward content, for lack of a better term. I can, I don't know. <laughs> it's 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 hard to say. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to say. I really enjoyed them, in spite of their flaws. But. Nope. Goodbye. You know what? But if I go to Ballastine Castle. Will it, will it spawn if I go to Ballastine Castle? Is it a limited thing? Or is Arthur just going to continue to say that? Really would like to at least get this one. Possible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now the guard's not even there. Shit. All right. Well, means I missed it. Oh, well. It would have been nice if I could have accomplished both side quests. I don't remember what that one gave you from a reward, but I remember it being decent. Unlike Elena, who's just, like, plot. Now, it's still useful to do, but... Eh. I did not remember that it was the Count's son. <laughs> yeah, whoops. That may actually impact things once we... Oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell happened here? At all. We're in a bad way. We were... Attacked by soldiers from Valestine, and some of them made it inside. Uh, hurry, you need to save the townspeople. <laughs> oh, Helena, I'm scared. It's okay, I'm here with you. Please, do what you want with me, but let her go. Shit. Damn it. Let's retry that. <laughs> I don't remember these guys being this fucking hard. Holy shit. direct sequels unlike east where you could pick up any game and play it and you don't need to play any of the other east games to really enjoy it the trails of series because there's trails of the sky one two and three there's trails of cold steel one two three and four that really build directly on themselves they tie into each other a lot it's it's a uh commitment <laughs> So I'm planning to play Grandia 2 on stream, Nade. Uh, definitely. Grandia, because Grandia 2, they have a Steam version, and the Steam version is actually pretty decent. Um, so I am planning to play Grandia 2 on Steam. I'll let you know when I uh, do play that again. That's a great, great game. You truly are a lifesaver. Thank you, Adol. But why? Why would the Valestine soldiers attack us? Adol, what's wrong? <laughs> you look even more flustered than we are. Adol reluctantly told her that her brother had stabbed Dogi in the Elder Mountains. My god! Why? Why would he ever do that? Are you two okay? Sister Nell? Papa! And Father Pierre too! When we realized you weren't at the church, we panicked. Thank god you're alright. We wouldn't be if it weren't for Adol. I'm sorry, sister. I know you told us to seek shelter. Yeah, when it showed, it looked like it, but uh, when they showed the actual better image, it's more of his arm that's bleeding. 
Honestly, you'll be the death of us one of these days, Elena. Now, now, Sister Nell. She was clearly just trying to find Anya. We can hardly blame her for that. I still can't believe McGuire's grown so brazen, though, as to send his soldiers to attack the <clears> town. <throat> I think it may be worse than that, actually. Did you get a good look at them as they attacked? Something about them seemed... off. Disturbingly so. None of them spoke a single word. And their movements were like those of wooden dolls, dangling from strings. Hmm. Now that you mention it, we're not safe here. We should return to my house to further discuss the matter and propose a course of action. I'd like for you to come as well, Adol. It's time to come up with a plan. And maybe a montage! I had no idea <laughs> Chester was hiding a secret like that all this time. He lived under my roof for ten years, and never once did I question where he came from, or how much he remembered. I feel like such a fool. Eh, don't blame yourself, Please Edgar. don't blame yourself, Mayor. Right now, we need to focus on the matter at hand. We need to focus on Valestine Castle. What we know is that Chester is planning to take his revenge through the power contained in those statues. The question is, are those statues in some way responsible for the lifeless, soulless appearance of our attackers? It seems that way. I think now would be a good time to get in touch with Bishop Nicholas at the castle. Excuse me. Sister, what's wrong? You're white as a ghost. The soldiers haven't returned, have they? <laughs> no, it's just that I haven't seen Elena for some time now, and when I asked the children where she went, it seems she's left town again. What? Well, that's... Not good. <laughs> she must have heard about Chester and gone to Valestine Castle. Yes, I think that's a safe assumption. It's an awfully rash thing to do, though, even for her. Dear me. Adol, I'm sorry to ask, but won't you please find Elena and bring her home to us? Try understanding that a little bit next time, buddy. <laughs> I can't bear to think of what might happen to her out there. Without hesitation, Adol agreed. You'll do it? Thank you, Adol. Thank you so very much. We're truly in your debt, Adol. I hate that we've been such a burden to you since your arrival here. I, I can't imagine what you must think of us. <laughs> Godspeed on your journey. I will pray for your health and success. Best of luck to you, Adol. You give me anything? I feel another might have gone after Chester straight into Valestine Castle. I understand how she feels, I really do, but the castle couldn't be a more dangerous place right now. Please bring out Elena back to us. I hope Bishop Nicholas is okay. We should pray for his safety. I took my eyes off Elena for only a single moment, and look what happened. Please, Adol, please find her. Yeah, Sister Nell, you had one job. <laughs> uh, there's nothing in here to grab. I don't think this shop has anything new for sale, but we'll look anyway. Yeah, it's kind of comical how a young blonde girl left town not too long ago. She looked rather distracted, but cute. Definitely cute. Thanks, Antonio. Anyway, I need to get out of here so I can collect more rabble. But that gardener fellow wants to keep me in. Can't blame him. I suppose that with the monsters invading the land. Ugh. I hate Felgana so much right now. <laughs> Yeah, I can sort of hear that. Let's talk. Gardner got himself wounded pretty badly. I can't believe this is happening. If we get attacked again, there's no way we'll make it through in one piece. There'll be casualties for sure. Just think of poor Elena and all the other villagers without combat training. They wouldn't stand a chance. We have to do everything in our power to prevent that eventuality from ever coming to pass. Our course is clear. Welcome. Yeah, you don't have anything else. Don't be a stranger. Welcome. Yeah, I already have. I already have those and that. We'll eventually buy a spirit necklace. That'll fully revive me, uh, but it'll only do it once. Don't be a stranger. So yeah, I don't have anything to do here until I've got new equipment and or 40,000 gold. Well, off to Valstein. Oh, somebody new. Thank you for so much for saving my daughter, Adol. I couldn't bear it if anything were to happen to her. No problem, Dewey. You guys are cool. I made up my mind. I don't know what the count is after, but I... Oh, shit. I meant... 
Palestine Castle is the enemy. My choices are to fight back or sit around and wait for death to find me. And I'm not all a fond of the latter. Good job. I'm gonna blaze my own trail, just like you. Off we go. Save. I think we've gotten all of the other areas. You're not getting me that way, buddy. Yeah, I guess we missed uh, the side quest with the uh, kid. Oh, well. I wonder where he was. I really could have sworn he was by the uh, ruins, but it's been so long since I played this. I can't remember all that clearly, and now we've missed it. Oh, well. I hope it wasn't that cool of an item. I just don't remember. <laughs> we got a couple of people out here. Who are you? Adel asked if anyone in the vicinity had seen Elena. No, I'm sorry. I, the soldiers and the other maids, they just attacked us. I was so scared, I didn't know what was going on, so I ran as hard and fast as I could, and I found myself here. What happened to everyone? Milady? Actually, you know what? I saw it. A fog started pouring out of the clock tower, and everyone it touched got changed. It's like all the life got sucked out of them, and they started going nuts. You're not actually planning on going in there, are you? All the castle's booby traps have been activated, and the quarters are full of soldier and made zombies. I don't care how good a swordsman you are. It's suicide. Trust me. Just turn back. Right now. I consider myself a brave man, but I'll tell you right now, I'm not going back in there ever again if I can help it. Real quick. Wolverine's rooms. I just want to see. Maybe they're out there now, but I think we missed it. I really could swear he was out here, though. Yeah, he's not out here. Stupid kid. All right, fine. Palestine Castle it is. Damn. Really hope it wasn't anything cool. Oh, well. That's probably what... That's probably what would have been here. Watch, it was the fucking stone shoes that I thought I could get at some point. <laughs> and now we get to some, some of the coolest music, in my opinion, ever fucking made. Welcome to Valestine Castle. This place is awesome. Whoops. Fucking maid. Yeah, the maids here are super dangerous. They're fucking ninja zombie maids. <laughs> That's the shit that fucking the crazy assholes in Ram Dao would come up with. Oh yeah, and spikes because you know, Palestine Castle isn't fucked enough. Ugh, fucking maid. There we go. Got her. Alright. Uh, you. But now I could stand still with that cape equipped and I will re uh, I'll regenerate health. It takes a minute, but it'll, it'll kick in. Thank goodness for that cape. So it pays off to get it, even though it's hard to get. Oh, mistimed it. Alright, there we go. And I don't really remember where I'm going here, so... We'll have some fun with this shit. There we go, got him. Okay! <laughs> got him. Definitely easier when you stun him. This is what I think it is. Fuck you, maid. Come here, maids. 
That was convenient. I appreciate you just walking down here. Oh, yeah, right. I remember this now. There's bullshit. It's just bullshit here. And of course, that fucking surface is icy because of course it's icy. You know, I really do feel like there are stone shoes somewhere. Maybe I get the stone shoes in here. There's a treasure chest in there. Let's see what's in that. I really do feel like there's a stone shoe somewhere that helps with some of these slippery surfaces. I really do. I wonder where I missed it. Unless it's in Valestine Castle somewhere. That seems like an odd place. Come on, you. We'll right, take Ravalor. That's a lot of Ravalor. Holy shit. God, do I have a lot of that stuff. Uh, all right, so I don't think I can make it up here because you have to get through that. And you'd have to run. And you can't run because it's fucking icy as shit. Right? Fuck, right? Yep, there it goes. I don't think I could do this right now. Let's come back to this and see if um, there's somewhere else I can go. <laughs> Let's see if there's somewhere else I can go, because there were two other sideways to go. Let's just backtrack a little bit. This maid could be... The maids are almost worse than the castle guards because they can have those knife attacks. No, no... Oh, get back here. <laughs> Thought she was going to advance and she didn't. go up this way. Going through there didn't seem like a good... Oh, shit. Alright, that gate's locked. Oh, great. I'm gonna have to get through that. I'm gonna have to get through that. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> well. Here's hoping I didn't miss... That fucking maid. Nope, I'm not getting that on. All right, let's just let's just sit here, regain that health. Uh, I really am hoping I didn't miss an item then in the fucking Eldar Mountains. God, is there anywhere else in there that I didn't go? Well, I mean, we still haven't gotten all the all the plant life things. Maybe I should go back to the Elder Mountains and see if I accidentally. Mr. Shoe or mixed those shoes. Because I was pretty sure they're in this game. Damn it. Damn it. Fucking made. Damn it. Thank God. Alright, we're doing alright here. Come on, there we go. Got it. <laughs> uh, I mean, unless I just have to get the timing on that down, boy, that would suck, damn it. Yeah, goodbye, guys. Bye. All right, unless I just have to time it. Goodbye. <laughs> that works for me. Okay, and of course you can't change the camera view, so you just have to hope you get it right. <sighs> I 
think if I just get the timing on this right. Ah, oh, shit. Damn. So close. We got maids. Fucked up, and now I gotta fight the maids. You know what? That was pretty close. Not too bad. Kill you. Let's try that again. Alright, the good news, it can be done. I just gotta do it. Nope, nope. Ice. Because of course they make it icy. There might be a gap. No, I really don't think so. I think I'm gonna have to just do it. That's one way to do it. I don't think I was supposed to do it that way, but made it work. <laughs> I call bullshit and the spike's not hurting yet, right? That is such bullshit. That is complete and utter horseshit. Come here, asshole. I wanna gain... Give me a level. You. Alright. I think I actually want to go down first, but I think we're gonna be forced to go down anyway. So I'm probably gonna fall. Ugh. I hate this thing. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. So depending on where you fall, you can get to a treasure chest. I remember that part. <sighs> this way? Goodbye. Uh, sure. Well, thank you. I appreciate all the money. Get over far enough. I think that's the way I need to go. Yep. Okay, nice and slow. Actually, I probably don't want to go through here. I actually do want to fall once. Damn. Uh, <clears throat> damn. Damn, damn. Come on. That's what I want, though. I want that thing up there. That's what I'm trying to get to. Uh. Oops. No! Oh, no! I think I can still get to it, though. Damn it. I just need to not die. That is such horseshit that the fucking spikes don't injure them, though. God damn it. Total fucking bullshit. Because, of course, they hide out in, this, in the spike areas. Damn it. Fucking bastards. Take that, you asshole. All right, now I'll just wait. I'll regenerate. Uh, this is not the quite the final area. It's the second to last area. Uh, yeah, environmental damage should work both ways. Totally. Uh, this is Valestine Castle, though. This is like one of the... This is the second to last area. But Valestine Castle is going to be a very massive area. Very, very fucking massive. Go. I don't remember what this... Oh, okay, this was definitely worth... <laughs> Darm Tower Massive? Not Darm Tower Massive, but Valestine Castle is very big. Uh, we're gonna be here for a while. Like, we're gonna be here for the rest of the stream, and we'll probably take the entirety of next stream to get through it. So actually, 
Yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, because Darm Tower took us about three hours to get through. So, yeah. I mean, Valestine Castle is, is pretty expansive. So let's equip the battle armor. Hell yeah! We love battle armor. All right. So, you know what? Let's... Go back to Redmond and let's upgrade our armor so we take less damage. So what part did you get to uh, before you... What part did you get to before you gave... Oh, playing this game the first time? The last boss. The last boss. I got to Galbalan. Couldn't couldn't beat Galbalan. That's why we haven't gotten any achievements as we've gone through the game. Um, so far, because for the most part, I've gotten all the achievements. We're gonna get what do you got for me? Tempered. This the one? Good to go. All right, so we were able to do it once, and we'll be able to do it once we get 300. Come again. But that was worth doing. All right. Back to Valestine Castle again. You know what? I probably shouldn't have done that. I got to do the spike bullshit again. Nah, yeah, that's all right. We know it's not too bad. <laughs> it was still worth it, probably, to go get the darn thing tempered. Castle entrance. It's not like the spike part was like, um... It's not like the platforming we did down in, uh... The Elder Mountains. Oh, shit. Stop it. Stop it, maid. <laughs> yeah, I do think the maids are more dangerous than the guards, though. You're gonna hang out over there. <laughs> All right, fine. You know what? Oh, I guarded. Come here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, those knife, those damn maids and the freaking knives. Those knife attacks are the worst. Actually, I probably did clear it, but I didn't think I cleared it, so it was just easier to do that. Probably not worth it to do all that. You back up we go and more of this bullshit. Let's try not to get knocked over again. Thank you. I appreciate the money. <laughs> we only need actually, that's a good point. I did good. I did do the kettle flower. Ugh. God, I hate this bullshit. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, don't go too forward there, Seraph. That's not too bad now. Pretty much that does seem to be the way to go through that. Cool, so now I don't need to go down. There we go, got him. Okay. Let's do this again. But at least this platforming, it, it is very precise, but at least it's not fucking icy. God, I hate fucking ice.
<laughs> right? <laughs> Look at all this crap, right, Rob? Oh my god. And of course, if you fall, you go all the way down and you have to fight your way all the way back up. But yeah, it was worth it to drop down. Oh god, okay. Oh, if this is the boss fight, I think it is. This sucks so very much. Okay. And I think I have to do this. Yeah, this is. Oh god, this is going to be terrible. Oh. It's great for you guys, but uh, yeah, designer, he hates ice. What can we do that's different? Programmer. Oily? Designer. How's that different? Programmer. It looks wet, but controls like ice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So yeah, we're we're probably gonna die a lot here, but let's let's try it anyway. Yeah, this is what I think it is. This is what I thought it was. Ow! Okay, now he's... Ow! Ow! Shit! Seraph! What are you doing? Right. Ow! Oh my god, all the spikes! So what color he is, is what he's, uh... vulnerable to at the moment. So you have to switch between that a lot. Now he's weak to that. Oh my god, he is gonna hit me so fucking much. I'm probably not... I'm probably underleveled. Because of course I am. Oh, I fucking hate this thing. I'm so glad I leveled up the fucking battle armor and now I'm out of magic power, so I gotta rejuvenate that for a little bit. I'm gonna die really bad. Yeah, yeah, this thing kills me pretty good. Let's see, how much... God, I only took it down a fifth of its life. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those. Yeah, yeah. This is one of the harder bosses in the game. So when I was about to play Oath of Fogana, I'm like, okay, there's the last boss I never beat. So there's that. There's the fire dragon. But one of the first things I thought of was that I'd have to fight this. So we're not finishing this tonight. <laughs> Oh, freak bot, you're funny. Yeah, no, there's no fucking way we're finishing this shit tonight. Oh my god. We're lucky if we finish this, not this stream, not next stream, but the next stream. If I could finish this in three more streams, I would count that as a fucking victory. <laughs> Dude, I've never beaten this game. <laughs> Ever. So, yeah, no, this, this sucks. This sucks. It sucks on every level. No, oh, I can do some damage to him, but yeah, now he's weak to wind. He's only weak to wind. Yep, and now I gotta just... Damn it. Ow! Of course, it doesn't help when I... Damn it. Ah. Ah. It's actually easier to dodge when you got the earth magic, but skipping back and forth all the time. Okay. We're actually doing better, but he's still going to kill me a lot. Damn it. Nope, wrong one. Damn it. Not oh. And this this is over. Well I got him halfway. That's not too bad. Yeah, it is when you mistime that. I also don't think I'm high enough level for this. So we're gonna go back to the save and we're going to load. Yeah, we'll gonna load. Uh and let's just try going this way because um maybe 
There's uh, something else I could do. Oh, come on, man. Pulled me into that shit. Damn it, that's not what I wanted. It didn't register it at first. So I clicked it again. And then it registers. Because of course it does. Oh, right. That's what I'm doing. Ah, bastards. Come on. There we go. Ow. Take that, made. Although it is convenient that when I'm charging, it automatically... Thank you for the health back. <laughs> Let's go the other way and just see. I think that's the way I have to go, though. But let's find out. It is possible that I actually have to go another way first. It is possible. Oh my god, look at all the fucking maids. Ow. Look at all these fucking crazy ass zombie maids. And of course they hide in the spikes. Because of course they do. Such horse shit. <laughs> Come here. Come on. No, chase me. Chase me. Fine. That's right. I can hit you in there. Ah. Gotcha. Ah, yeah, you get an achievement if you kill 500 of these maids in uh, amongst all your playthroughs. Now you'll come after me. Yeah, they stay at range unless they figure out you can hit them at range, then they charge you. That's useful to know. Okay, so we went. We went left, and that got us to that really annoying boss. And there's another really bad one in Ballastine Castle. It's basically a fucking battle mech. I I'm not even joking. It fires missiles and it's a it's it's huge. It's the size of a small building. It's bullshit. It's a lot of bullshit. I fucking hate it. That thing will also kill me a lot. A lot. Thankfully, at least I remember enough of these bosses that I don't have to go through the process of remembering how to kill them. So I could at least save us that trouble. I remember enough of them playing through this the first time. Be like, oh yeah, that's how you do that. Even if some bits of it are a little rusty. Like I've forgotten that it turns white and that's the, and that's the only time it's vulnerable to the sword. You, there we go. Man, that's bullshit. I should have... Ugh. No! Stop hitting me! Ugh. hate these little caster things. Nah. Here's the chapel, but I think we need something from that... Yeah, we do need something from that boss. But we may as well at least go in the chapel. May as well at least explore what we can, because I also think there's a warp area around here. gonna need that so it's just as well or the silver pendant that looks familiar we're gonna need that so it's just as well we came this way one of the organs keys is missing I actually think and there's also the symbol so I think oh right there's also a chime missing we need to get the chime the key and the symbol from the various bosses around here but maybe we could fight a different boss instead of that fucking thing for now Damn it. Oh, come on, Sarah. Nope. Not getting me there, buddy. 
All right, that freaking gate is closed. That's as far as we can get for now. Nope. Okay. Come on, buddy. There we go. All right. Well, it was worth at least checking out. So now we may as well go back and then we'll just go up. We'll see if we can see if we can do anything up above on the top of that tower. I think there actually is something to be gained at the top of that tower. Yeah, so you tell me we're not beating this tonight. Yeah, that's funny, freak fuck. That's, that's hilarious. <laughs> God damn. I needed that laugh. <laughs> Missed him. There we go. Boom. Hey, shithead. Damn it. Keep doing that. I keep switching my magic instead of actually activating my magic. I keep meaning to do that, but I keep switching it instead. It's not like I've been playing this game a while at this point. You should be able to hit the right button. I haven't had that problem the entire playthrough, but I keep doing it in Valestine Castle for some reason. All right, you little asshole. There we go. Good. Got you. Keep fry hell. No, we got work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? I mean, if I stayed up all night, I probably could at least get to where I was. Valestine Castle does just take a while. Because not only do we have the, uh, I don't know if Nate is still around, but, uh, because not only do we have Valestine Castle proper, which is, takes forever to get through, we also have the Clock Tower. And, as we all know, those are Nade's favorite areas. So we go to my favorite fucking, you know, sarcastic favorite, uh, of ice levels, and we'll go to Nade's sarcastic favorite of the, uh, of the Clock Towers. Yeah, I know, it's it's awful. <laughs> and the clock tower in this game does not hold back. Come on, buddy. Yeah, there we go. That works. Wasn't sure if I needed to do that or not. Actually, there's a spot to drop down. I don't remember where it is. Is it here? There is going to be a spot to drop down at some point. Come here, buddy. And I'm fine. Good. Go that way. All right, that's the spot I need to somehow drop down to. All right, so... Ah, I missed it. All right, time to go back up. <laughs> Fucking clock towers, yep. <laughs> Is there a scissor man? No, there's no scissor man in this one. But, uh... But there's some interesting platforming bullshit in the clock tower. Alright, alright. So we gotta go... Oh, damn it! This is just tedious, though. And we don't lose that much progress. We just gotta jump back up there. Not terrible. Oh, fuck. Except I blew it there. At least we have awesome music to keep us company. Uh, worst clock tower is still the one from Crash. I agree with that. Uh, level is this, that level is the, yeah, I totally agree. That level is the equivalent of getting your ball stepped on. That level is terrible. All right. So, all right. Oh, damn it. Seraph, how do I... I feel like you just jump and you do that wind attack at just the right moment. And uh, you just kind of land on it. I don't remember this being all that difficult. This one I really don't remember being all that tricky. Oh, damn it. I jumped a second too fast. Of course, 
Helps when you just don't play cute with it. I'm like, oh yeah, it's not all that hard. You don't have to do the wind thing. You just jump. <laughs> And you can fall in this part and go all the way back down. So yeah, these shitheads that could do this bullshit are particularly dangerous. So yeah, I'm gonna kill these uh, first because... Come on. Thank you. Now it's over. Now then. Poof. PRB going to barf. Gravity is here. <laughs> I would have laughed if that was stone shoes, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Don't come any closer. <laughs> we wonder who this is. I won't let you lay a finger on my children. Adol gave his name and reassured the woman that he had no intention of hurting anyone. Truly? Indeed. Your eyes are clear. Quite unlike those who've been corrupted by the vile mist. All right then. I am convinced you come with no malicious intent. My name is Elizabetha. I'm Count McGuire's betrothed. These are our children, Alice and Christoph. Master... Adam, was it? Might I inquire as to why you've come to this castle, much less this chamber? Adol briefly explained the situation at hand to the Countess. I see. So Chester spoke the truth. Gotta put him in the ground. <laughs> I don't think Adol said it in quite those words. <laughs> he locked us in here for our safety and told me much the same story. He said that my husband had slaughtered the people of the island to further his own ambitions. If that is indeed the truth, I would agree. It is entirely unforgivable. As his wife, I share the burden of that sin, and I am prepared to answer for it. But my children do not. They are innocent souls untainted by this despicable act. The staff as well I believe that Sir Stoddard's actions are unjustifiable even under such uniquely unpleasant circumstances. Yeah, they are unjustifiable. I agree. <laughs> I do what I can to make amends for my husband's actions. I'll see to it that he answers for them at the least. I can do nothing from this room, but I dare not leave it with the castle in such a state. Please, Master Adol, will you put a stop to this before it grows any worse than it already is? had such an angry look on his face like a demon what happened to him did somebody hurt him you said he has a grudge against father and he wants revenge what does that mean i don't know those words what's a grudge what's revenge and why does he want it i feel bad for the kids in this situation Do they don't even understand Chester did to me? they don't understand what the hell's even going on he locked me up in here like i was a misbehaving cat <laughs> No way to treat a lady. He should be ashamed of himself. So I thought if I'm a cat, then I'm going to act like one, and I clawed at him as he left. Mother pulled me away, but before she did, I managed to knock something out of his pocket. Maybe you know what it is. <laughs> Those are fighting words. Here we go. We got one of our items. We got the ivory key. Now we just need a couple other things. Yep, uh, his expression changed. I thought he seemed sad for a moment. Why would we make him sad? Yeah, because you made him think of his own Time sister. Time has weighed heavily on my husband ever since he was sent to this land. I came from Ron to wed him. This castle was his gift to me. A show of his influence. An effort to impress. Several years ago, 
I consented upon the addition of a clock tower. A rare fixture, even in Rom, much less here. When you kill Chester, can you yell for Dogi, right? Mist came from that clock tower. If my consent contributed to the horrors these innocent people now face, then I am just as guilty as he. Alright, nothing else in here. Nope. Alright, but we got the ivory key and that's what we needed. Well, the good news, while we were being productive, we almost gained another level. Gravity is a bitch! Ow, ow! And spikes are also a bitch! Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> Fuck! Knives are a bitch! Oh my god! We could totally do a song on that. Gravity's a bitch, knives are a bitch. Oh my god, why the spikes? <laughs> that was just like a comedy of bullshit right there. <laughs> okay, no. look. Oh my god, and of course it runs to everything else that's over here. I hate these maids so very much. Get back here. Now we fight our way back to where we were. I don't see much other choice here, but we're getting there. We're almost to the next level. Come here. Okay, one down. That's right. Come on. Next. Yeah, it's nice when I can kind of, uh... Kind of pin them in a corner. There we go. There we are. They're not so bad when they can't, like, run or, uh, when they can't flee. But yeah, they're really dangerous in those really big fucking, um... Oh, wow, I just juggled that guy. That was awesome. I can do that again. Hmm. Let's see. Really would like to, uh... Already back to full here. You know what? I actually kind of think going down is the way to do it. Plus, we'll get closer to that achievement for killing all these fucking, uh... Maids. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, much easier when you kind of get them cornered. Nope. Damn. There's so many of them. <laughs> I was aiming at that one, but I'll take it. Ow. Ow. He ended up getting a revenge on that one. Back up we go. Now I probably should have just killed that guy too. Whatever. I hate it when it delays. You. Ah, we're getting closer. It even just gave me an update. 28 maids later. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm at 150 out of 500 that's going to require for that achievement out of any playthrough. That's bonkers. Well, we're not getting the maids achievement on this playthrough because I don't think we're killing that many maids. But I will eventually get that achievement. <laughs> yeah, why so many? I don't know. I don't know why it makes you kill that many. It makes you kill 2,000 of the little beetle things in the Ilburn's Ruins uh, caldera. Why? I don't know. That seems like a lot to me. Should be able to kill one of these. Ooh. 
That was close. Ow, damn it. I keep jumping off. I need at least, I need to kill at least one more. Thought I needed to kill a bunch though. Mm, you know what? We're not gonna, yeah, fuck it. We'll just, we'll just go down. You. Sucks I had to jump back down though. It is poor shit that the spikes don't damage them though. It really does suck a lot. But now that other boss shouldn't. Number one, the boss won't do as much damage to us. Whatever. more. Got you cornered. Damn it. I let you get away, though. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Looks like they got away. Actually, oh, no, we're still shy of upgrading our armor again. Because I think we need 300, right? Yeah, I think we need 300. again now that we've gained another level it's our star traffic shit right how many can you kill per minute that's a good question actually yeah it would be interesting to find out how many it would actually take Oops. damn let him hit me 69 damage nice nope Damn it. Fuck. I hate this shit. I'm out of magic power, so I just have to avoid him for a while. Bullshit. Oh, and now he's vulnerable to that. Nope. Damn, let him hit me with that. No, still not. No, nope. need to change again. Right. right. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it! Go. Spikes. But yeah, even with fucking up there, we're still doing better than last time. So yeah, that's what we needed. We just need to be properly leveled. We still fucked up this time. Eliminate our fucking magic power. Damn it. Damn it. It's hit me with all this cheap shit. Damn it. Ow! Ow! Fuck! 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 We got him. Oof. I had an easier time going through Battletoads. Yeah, right? <laughs> I never enjoyed that game. Uh, oh, Star Tropics. Yeah. 
I mean, I liked playing through to like a bunch of days at Nite- a bunch of devs at Nintendo got together and asked, "Hey, if we took Legend of Zelda and sucked all the fun out of it, yeah, I, we I think we've had this conversation. That does sound, that was Star Tropics, um, but yeah, th- yeah. Once you play Star Tropics, you don't need to play that again. Uh, never enjoyed that game ever. People ask me what's the most frustrating game on the NES. My answer will always be Star Tropics. Yes, uh, I need to chime to the Battletoads. Yeah, Freakbot beats Battletoads every year just to show it who's boss. One of these days we got to we got to set that up so you can actually play through it cuz the emulator has input lag which makes it impossible I guess. Um but yeah, I I've seen him do it um just by hanging out and yeah, it's it's a fun time. But um anyway, somewhere in the distance Adol could hear the sound of a door unlatching. <sighs> and we get part of our organ here. Okay. So we got our organ pipe I didn't think we were going to beat it, actually. So we actually got that in the first try since leveling up. So not too bad. But yeah, trying to figure that I cannot tell you how many times I died on that bullshit. Damn it. Fucking spikes. And of course you land right in the middle of them, surrounded by enemies that can hit you. So you have to move. You can't just sit there. All but guarantee you're going to hit the spikes. Bullshit. Fuck you. Let's get that health thing. Fuck you. And now we're going to find out the answer to Deep Fry's question. How many maids can Seraph kill in one minute? <laughs> I was like, wait, did I just see that? And yes. Yes, I did. Ah. Maids. All right, so we've killed what? Three, we've killed four. The problem is they're agile as shit. Come on. Come here. Thank you. Ah. Thought she was gonna run a little longer. Come on. So is what? Uh, eight in a minute? Probably. Something like that. So if I didn't bother coming to kill this thing. And pre to be fair, previous playthroughs, they were really annoying. So I didn't even try to kill them. I didn't know there was an achievement for killing a lot of them. So I actually didn't really try killing a lot of them. I was just like, these things are too mobile, and they're annoying, and they're not a good use of my time fighting. So let's go down and see. Okay, so going to battle the code name for Peter's play. I didn't read that right. Okay, yeah, thanks, Nate. <laughs> yep, come here, ladies. That's right. Come to your doom. Actually made pretty quick work of those. Oops, I thought it was gonna go in a different direction. There we go. Bitch, come here. There we go. Yep. Oh, oh. All right, not too bad. Okay. So it was another seven in like, yeah, probably about seven a minute I would say, because it takes about a minute to go all the way down, all the way back up, kill these group, kill this group. And who knows, if I actually dedicate some time to it, I might find some more efficient ways of uh, dealing with these zombie maids. The helpful thing is when they start throwing knives, they're stuck in place for a quick second. So that's when you can line up a shot. Of course, if they go into the safety of the fucking spikes, then it's over. Money. Yeah, probably, I would say seven a minute. I don't know, I could do the math and figure out eventually how long it would take to get to the 500 number. My god. Bye. 
out of you. All right, so now we go back to the uh, chapel. And we can continue on. Yeah, I think I like my... Try and stun him. Takes... Takes a second to line up the shot, but once they're stunned, it's over. That does seem to be easier. I gra once grinded a million bolts in Ratchet and Clank 1 and took five playthroughs. My god, that sounds like a lot. My goodness. Oh, I thought we got him. I love, though, when you fight enough things and get enough upgrades, your sword actually takes on, like, a fiery characteristic. Yeah. Nope. Oh, these things got stronger. Check this out. These assholes are new. Now we got these fuckers, too. They're no longer the greed lizard things. They're now the red ones. Actually, these guys are better, too. All these guys just got an upgrade. Fuck. I do remember grinding in this spot, though. It is a good spot to just level up a little bit. I don't think we need to do that, but... them. Oh, that sucks. Come on. Fuck, this guy's brutal. We're gonna go in the chapel for a second. <laughs> We're gonna go in the chapel and let our, oh, our health automatically rejuvenated by walking in the chapel. That's pretty cool. Well, that's nice to know. Damn it. All right, we'll take the level up. That was pretty nice. Oh. All right, so I've got the solution to that. I'm gonna do that bullshit, fine. Yeah. I remember that. Those fuckers teleport, but they usually will teleport in such a way that you could, yeah, that makes sense why why you might grind your, yeah, because you recover health rate and the, yeah, that, uh, that does explain why I would do that. I'm like, oh, I remember grinding here. And I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. That's, that's why. Yep. Oh, Sarah. Man, I'm like totally sucking with this thing. You, I'm have. I've had enough of that shit. We're going to wait and let the cape heal us here. Yeah, I'm not going to grind there, but um, but we'll definitely uh, definitely let the health come back a little bit. All right, back up we go. Oh, look at that, more bullshit. Oh, you fucker. It's so cheesy that that even hit me. Give me a health item. Come on. Now, not doing that. Oh, we've reached uh, way more than 48,000, so I need to, uh, at some point, heal up. Ah, we got ourselves in a, another tower. Thank you. I appreciate that health upgrade. All right, so I'm thinking we'll try to go up first. Damn, you hid behind the fucking knight. Come in. Now you die. All right. Yeah, let's go up first. You're not doing that shit again. Not happening. Back up we go. And then we'll probably fall the whole way and see what's down at the bottom. <laughs> Fucking these guys up bad now. Although, I talk shit and then I get blasted by this bitch's beam attack. Damn it. Well, 
let's just rejuvenate that health. It comes back pretty quick. Man, that cape is awesome. <laughs> Thank goodness for that cape. above and land on it. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fine, I get... I meant to do that so I could kill you. Totally meant to do that. that drop. Oh, damn it. Fuck. All right, so I'm going to have to go down here and get to it. Oh. Right? It's... get you later. It's probably just Ravalor, right? But, you know, why mess? That's so cheesy that that hits. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it was Ravalor, but it's a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, it was worth it. It was worth it. As soon as I find another um, warp location, I'll be able to go back to town. Wolf. That was a dicey jump without running. <laughs> yeah, leap of faith. <laughs> Let's see what's at the top of this tower. I actually don't remember what's up here. Oh, come on. Quit whacking me with that. So cheap. I'm just going to stay here while that wizard is up there and doesn't see me. Hopefully he doesn't see me. I'm just going to stay still. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Thank you. Damn. Didn't do it. Definitely can't let him pull that hammock. I gotta not let them ever land that. That's my fault. I knew that attack was coming and I just didn't hit the button fast enough. I did hit the button, just didn't do it fast enough. And by that point, it had already hit me and it interrupted my magic attack. That's okay. Didn't kill me. We'll regenerate this health. We're good. Hey, asshole. Yeah, that teleporting bullshit doesn't help you very much, now does it? Hey, look at that, it's Bishop Nicholas. Adolf Christian. I can't believe you've come. Tell me, do you know what's happening? Uh, shit's gotten real, Bishop. 
Cardinal explained everything that had occurred and informed the bishop that he had come in search of Ellen. I see. So Ellen is here as well. It pains me to say that Chester is the one who locked me in here. He did so immediately after everyone in the castle began to transform. I spoke with him. I inquired as to his objective. And in brief, he actually told me. It seems he intends to use the castle's clock tower to release the energy of the statues. Count Maguire had it built several years ago, and I believe it functions as more than a simple timepiece. <laughs> Theoretically, it interferes with the vein of spirits that runs beneath Belgana, redirecting its flow. If true, the Count may have used this device to harness the statue's powers from afar, creating monsters. Likely, his true goal was to track their locations, so he could fully unleash their powers for his own deification. I always read that as defecation, and I'm like, eh, actually, it's probably what it's turning into rather deification, but yeah, right, I'm out for now. Good luck. Oh, I thank you, Nade. We're not going to be up for much longer. The, pretty much the, as soon as I get to another statue, I'm going to save and uh, and call it a night because it is starting to get late. But, um, but, uh, but yeah, cool. Thank you for, for hanging out. By the time we come in for the next stream, it'll probably be for that infamous clock tower. So, yeah. Yeah, that to look forward to. <laughs> Tell Curry I said I take it easy, dude. But Chester beat him to it and brought about the dark mist that hangs within these halls. It twists the minds of the people it touches, transforming them, changing them into bloodthirsty beasts. And sadly, those affected by this mist are lost to us forever. Its changes cannot be undone. Adolf, please, you must stop Chester. His desire for revenge may be justified, in as much as it can be. But in seeking this revenge, he has sinned most deeply. Thank you, I appreciate money. We found Elena. Oh, right. Uh, we found Elena's pendant in the castle's chapel. In the chapel? Why would it be there? Wait a moment. The maids did speak of something. Supposedly, there is a, exists a secret door in the chapel, which leads to an underground waterway. If the rumor is true, it was built before my appointment as chaplain here, so I know nothing of its exact location. Still, it might explain why Elena's pendant might, might would be lying in such a peculiar spot. And there's nothing else here. Right. Damn. Now. Down we go. Down. Down. Holy shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> Damn. Look at that. Good thing we have that fireworms amulet. Ow. Man, these things really do hurt. Jesus. Thank goodness for that banister. There we go. You. Take the health. Way. Thank you for coming exactly where I could then actually kill you. Hmm. What's in here? Acquired the battle shield. Fuck yeah. There we go. We got our battle shield now. Good to go. So that was awesome. I think that's all there was to get over here. Yep, now we can get out. Such cheesy fucking bullshit. At least they gave me hit points. Thank you. You're not hitting me. Fuck you. I'm gonna teleport. Yeah, I actually teleported pretty far away on that one. <laughs> Alright, Deep Fry, have a good one. Uh, the next stream should be, um... 
I've been streaming on Tuesday nights, so it's probably going to be more of the same. Um, and that is a good question. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to... What I should do is try to finish off Zelda on Tuesday night, and I think that's going to be my plan. So, but um, I think that's going to be my plan. But if uh, if that changes, I'll let you guys know on, on Twitter and Discord. Um, but I think that... I think that's a good plan because we're this close to the end of Zelda and that seems like it would be a good time to um, finish that game off. So I do like finishing games. I don't like having a whole bunch that I'm in the middle of in progress. I do like to kind of complete them. All right, so we continue on this way. Damn it. Right. I totally forgot about that. So there's an easy way to deal with that. <laughs> there's a very easy way to deal with that. Uh, give me really no health bonus there. Oh, all right. Now we go in here. Equip that. There we go. Yeah. Almost all of these are fucking illusions. Look at this horse shit right here. Ow! Forgot that thing's a laser. Shit. I totally forgot that fucking thing's a laser. Oh my god, so lame. Uh. Damn it. <sighs> and of course, they get to just walk on the illusions. They're real for them, fuckers. Um, wait. How do I get to that? That's real, right? Yeah, that's real. Okay. Ow! Fuck! Ow! Okay. Let's, uh... Yeah, I wonder what item I missed. I must have missed something. But we're just going to rejuvenate some health here in this one little tiny safe spot. I'm just trying to get to a statue at this point. I didn't realize it would take this long. Although I could just wing out and we'll just re from the east wing and we'll just make, you know, double back through all that area. It really wouldn't take all that long. But at this point, I would prefer, if at all possible, to make our way through this. Go this way. Nope. Gotta go this way. Ow! This sucks so much. Ow! <laughs> Hate those things. It's so cheesy. Oh man. Alright, there we go. Alright, we managed to get to the west wing. Okay. That is probably a good place to uh uh, end things for the night. We still have to find the battle sword. But all in all, we got pretty deep into Valestine Castle. I just knocked over my, uh, <laughs> knocked over my little plastic tab that opens my, um, my water cooling things. I'll pick that up so the cat doesn't play with that. Treat it like a toy. But, um, all right. So, yeah, we did save it, right? Let's just make sure. So, yeah, I'm not, definitely not doing that. Again. Okay, yeah, we picked up save. <laughs> All right, so let's exit. Yep, let's exit back to Windows and let us see what's going on. Let's go into the ending stream portion here. We got pretty far in Oath of Felgana. We got through the worst part. We got through that godforsaken jump that I hate, that I hate so very much. Oh, Captain Maxi's uh, streaming. Let's go invade him. Um... And so, yeah, I think I already did the, um, the channel update here. So, uh, with, uh, with Deep Fry signing off. But yeah, Tuesday night, I think, is the right plan. We're going to play some uh, Zelda 3, and the plan will be finish, finish the game. And I don't think it's going to take us all that long, because we're already at Turtle Rock. But uh, one thing I might do is I might just do a quick circling around the Dark World and Light World just to see what I may have missed. Kind of adventuring around. Because uh, I feel like we're still a few hearts shy of where we should be. 
And so uh, we could go exploring a little bit or we could just be like, yeah, we're near the end. Let's just uh, let's just kick this pig and uh, and work this out. But Turtle Rock is my favorite dungeon. So we're going to be doing that. And then it's pretty much just Ganon's Tower and game over. Um, if we really wanted to, we could probably finish the game in like, what, half hour, hour, maybe, uh, depending on how well Seraph remembers how all that stuff goes. Now, the issue is I haven't played it in like 20, you know, 15, 20 years. So a lot of it I don't remember. But um, but yeah, other than that, if as long as I have a pretty good memory of what's going on, uh, we're, we're going to have ourselves a, uh, a good time. Now, it says Sea of Thieves, but the preview looks like Overwatch. So it probably is Overwatch and uh and we'll go from there but in any event everybody i uh want to thank you for um wrapping up your weekends with me i had a good time thank you very much i hope you have a great week and remember friends don't let friends buy ubisoft i will talk to you guys uh, approximately later take it easy